Hey everyone, this is Teal from Studio Blue. In this video, we finished Act 1 of Dragon Quest XI. Wow, do things heat up! So far, the problems we've had with the writing and characters have been resolved, and our main issues are related to mobs and battle balancing. Where will the Luminary's journey lead him next? Let's find out! Hello everyone, I'm Steel. And I'm Teal. And we're with Studio Blue. Thank you for joining us for our continuing critical play of Dragon Quest XI. And as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, Teal's back. I'm back, and it's good to be back. <laughs> Alright, let's jump in and kind of chill out for a second. Hello, yeah. Miyaka. Hello, BG. Anyone lurking? It's good to see you guys. Uh, it's been a fun time, so go ahead and talk a little bit, Teal. Yeah, Let I know need how to talk doing. a little bit. First of all, um, I don't have my upper dentures in because I encountered a bit of a problem with them. So uh, I'm going to be sounding a little funny tonight, especially with the um, S's. <laughs> but right. I'm, I'm here and uh, with bells on and mm -hmm. ready to, to get this thing going. Now, uh, while I was out, I did play the game a little bit. To do some grinding and get some mats, do some foraging, do a little bit more exploring. And it's a good thing I did do that because I found uh, a good handful of targets that I had missed. And some treasure chests and that sort of thing. Um, so that was good. Looks like I may have to continue doing stuff like that because <laughs> during my regular playtime, I seem to miss this stuff. Mm. Mm. Who knows? I keep getting lost. That's probably why. Ah, uh, we got that teal lost counter. Don't worry, honey. Also, I knocked out just about all the ongoing side quests that I have. Yes. So we're caught up on that, too. We are. So, welcome, Elf Games. Welcome, Lacing. Good to see you here with the uh, metal, metal unicorn slime. That is a metal unicorn slime. <laughs> I love it. Welcome, Rilo. Hey, stay as long as you can, buddy. It's always good to see you. Yeah, we are grateful to have Teal back. It has been a heck of a journey for the poor girl, but she has been doing amazing. Um, hey, Flesh to Dust, welcome to the stream. Any and all people who watch, we love you guys. Thank you for being here for our first critical play of Dragon Quest XI. We're looking forward to this, actually. The refreshing change. Yes, yes it is. Way to hustle. Oh, she is kicking butt. Teal actually stayed up... Um, Probably later than she should have. <laughs> I say fussing at the oh, wife. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but she's caught up and ready to go with the main quest. So let's yeah. jump right on. Hello, St. Griffin. Welcome to the stream, my man. Yeah, it's been good. Um, just so you know, we are on the road to partnership. So let's try to get 75 average viewers in one stream. We can do it, guys. Oh, Google. I know we can. <laughs> All right, let's make this happen. Let's All go, right, Teal. continue our adventure. Yep. Now, the... Uh, the last time I played this game, yesterday doesn't count, of course, uh, or today, was May 20th. May 20th. <laughs> so, yeah, we are, that's definitely a long time to, between games, so let's pay attention to what came before, so we can all kind of refresh ourselves. Amen to that. Okay. So, so we, we're in uh, Sniffleheim. Mm-hmm. Probably not how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it, Sniffleheim. <laughs> And the blue orb is here. We don't have it yet because the queen has to give it to us. Right. She, uh, the wicked witch of the wood, pretended to be the queen, but we saw right through that. I know, Rallo. Right? It's really good to have that mechanic. Okay. So then we fought her and um, defeated her butt. What a butt it was to defeat. <laughs> Learned about a necklace. Learned about a necklace. And uh, so we freed the real queen in the whole town. So now they're not nice anymore. <laughs> so we're supposed to go to the castle now and get the blue orb from the real queen. So let's make it happen. So as for those of you who are new to a two-person critical play, I will be responding and engaging with the chat. While Teal, as the player, will be primarily 
analyzing the game as she plays. So you're going to hear her talk a little bit more than me about the game, and I'm going to talk a little bit more to people. Right. However, if you need her attention, type what you want to say, and then type exclamation point ding. That yeah, ding. will alert Teal that you need her. <laughs> yeah, that'll, um, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that'll learn me, right? Ooh. A rainbow. Yes. Wee. Yeah, that thing we had to go through hell high water in a tournament for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing. I haven't explored the town yet. I yep. was saving that for you guys. Yep. So we we're going to explore this beautiful snowy town together. As Teal walks right past and a frozen Eric. Because who cares about an Eric sickle, right? Uh, we are actually getting terrible, terrible stream health right now. Rilo. <laughs> Um, most likely it's the, uh, internet backbone. Because we reset the server right before we started streaming, so... Yeah. This may be a, we have to stop the stream and restart it. We'll see how it is in about 30 minutes. That would suck. I don't want to stop the stream. You're probably gonna have to. So yeah. just be ready. Core blimey. <laughs> he's got a cold. Yeah, he's not doing too good. Oh, that poor guy. So, oh, if you're I watching pet, this... I every dog. Every so, if dog. you're watching this on uh, VOD on YouTube, please be sure to give us a like, a subscribe, and a follow. If you're watching this on Twitch, please give us a follow and consider subscribing to us. Comment, if you would, please. That hour of engagement is very important. So far, I have no problem with the uh, NPC dialogue. I agree, Miyaka, yes. It's, for whatever reason, Wednesday night is the worst traffic night, and despite having a business fiber connection, this is the night where we always experience the largest problems. Yeah. Yeah. See, Nandi's lagging hard as well, so what we'll do is we'll give it... We'll give it till, uh, 6.30 our time. And if after 6.30 our time we're still getting bad lag, then yes, we're gonna have to we'll stop have to restart, and restart yeah. the stream. Look at that! They're tossing snowballs at each other! Holy crap! See, this is the kind of NPC business I love to program, right here. Oh, yes. Just little slices of life. See, what do you call yeah, that? yeah, you can't hit me. What do you call that? Background? NPC noise? Uh, what was uh, it? No, it's, um... It's, uh, stage business. Stage business, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Good watch- stuff. Watch me be an asshole. Totally unnecessary. Yes. It's like you could do that in like South Park where uh one of the kids is building a snowman and yeah. you just like beat the shit out of the snowman and the kid just stops and stares at you. It's great. Oh, look at what somebody was hiding. Your shit is mine. <laughs> oh god, I just robbed the shop. I'm out of here. Oh yeah, shit. You're the thief you're the thief -inary. <laughs> Oh my. Oh, let's see what's in here. Oh, the back end of another shop. Okay, she has pumpkins. Interesting. So can I talk to her? Oh, she just says normal shit. Oops. Hey, hey Bubba Hotep, and no, no one summoned you this time. It's just Teal being here. I'm here. Oh, send, send us that one. Lacing, absolutely. Send us that quote. That is the best quote ever. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so a now... Quick, a quick director's note, Teal? Yes? We're going between blue and red, so it may be evening out. We'll see how it works. Okay. He's still more going five seconds of Eric has in his whole life. Oh so my true, god, that's so true. That's so very true. Eric the inept thief. <laughs> a choker of Riddent. Right. There you song, go. Song, 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 song. Okay, I don't need those things. Is that all you're selling? Are you serious? That's all I got. Wow. <laughs> oh, you know what you should, uh, mm. you should tell them about the amount of, uh, forging you've done. I've done a lot of forging. Like, a lot. Yeah. Y'all wanna see what I got? Of course they do. Of course <laughs> you do. Okay. Yeah, I got the Falcon Blade, and I improved it to plus two. Yep. I got the shield bearer, and I improved it to plus two. Oh, what does it do? Oh, let me just show you what it does. That's fantastic, Miyaka. Glad to hear that. 
Yeah, it hits twice. Right? Yes, Falcon Blade. Now Eldrick can hit. You can then do uh, two attacks. Hit two twice. So boom, boom. basically, you know, just to let, just to kind of give you guys an idea, my wife spent about three hours collectively at the Fun Size Forge last night when she was doing other things. She would take a break, do the Fun Size Forge. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. And I think she's pretty much cracked how it works. Oh yeah, the Falcon Blades are just great. Absolutely. And so then I got the Shield Bearer, and I improved that up to plus two. So, he's got a pretty good defense. And look at that block and parry. Absolutely. Yep. Um, let's go to... Ah, and Miyaka's saying that the hero should be using great shields when you can make them. Good to know, Miyaka. That's good to know. Awesome. I didn't think about that. Okay, so this one... So, uh... Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, go ahead, that, uh, as you... You know, after we summarize this and move on, we also can note that uh, we're hitting perfection a lot more. So you're going to see a lot more plus threes. Obviously, we're not going to dwell on each piece of equipment, but overall, look and see at the number of plus twos and plus threes. That's just proof that Teal has really upped her forging game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the Falcon Knife Earring, uh, I improved that to plus two. That plus three... I yeah. got I got the trickster and I see the result of one of the quests. So I improved. It's now perfect. Plus three is perfect. So, yeah, it really gives him a good evasion <laughs> and charm. So that's that. There you go. Okay, Veronica has a brand new heavy wand. Yes. Okay. Um, I forged the shiver stick and then I improved it up to level two, and it does like sharp icicles. And so that's pretty much it. Yeah. I've, I've done... Oh, oh, let me show you about Rab. Remember how Rab had, like, no equipment at all? Yeah, I got him all this equipment. Yeah. So no, there it is. He's bumped up. So yeah, Teal spent a lot of time forging. Yeah, isn't it great? I mean... And, and Ryle is absolutely right. It's a sign of a great minigame. Yeah, it is. Um... I don't really need to go in there. <laughs> Let's see. That's the church. I don't need. I don't want to go in there. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go down this way. Oh, what are you doing? Come. Oh, finest herbs and spices. There you go. Oh, it's yellow satay. Very exciting. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, of course, we'll put Serena back in the party. Lacing Serena is bomb. Oh, the animals are still frozen. The things aren't quite back to normal. The Not animals quite, are cold. No. Oh, but pet the horsey. I've made it my mission to pet every single animal in this game. Yeah. I I want to be be nice. Oh, yep. This animal too. This one gets petted. <laughs> oh, it Aww. just baws at me. It just baws at you. That's cool. It's just a little sheepy sheep. I told you I'm exploring everything. I oh, am yeah. not going to miss a doggone thing. See, look at that. There's a sparkle over there. If I wasn't exploring, I would have missed that. It's true. She actually has done a great <gasps> job recently of exploring vociferously. I got perma snow. <laughs> All right, can I jump over this thing? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Now, what's this dude doing? <laughs> what happened? Oh my God! It's like, well, what happened? Yeah, you were frozen. Hey, is that a red door that I can go into and get extra loot? Yes. That is how you got back in. That's the back end. Remember? Oh. Yes. Oh, goody! It's daytime. Yeah. Teal did it forget. Yeah, I um, I did it for uh. That's how you backed in. That's how you got in okay. when it was frozen. Yeah. I'm not lost. You're lost. <laughs> she hasn't even gotten out of the town, and already Teal is lost. Sparkles would be able to. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, Rilo. Uh, you know, Sparkles would hide in the snowy environment. Maybe change the color of the sparkles. Hmm. Ooh, that oh, would be is. interesting. It is, Miyaka. The, the interaction, the random flavor is just, it is so good. I mean, it's the, the way this game makes this itself just feel beautiful. alive with just little pieces is is truly God tier. Some of the best I've ever seen in a game. I'm just in love with this fountain. Guys, this is how you make a fountain. That truly is. Good lord, look at it. It's even spinning. It's got an orary on it. <gasps> I just it's like a compass slash orary on a fountain. That's amazing. 
It is gorgeous lacing. Oh, there's a woman gorgeous. and child. I swear it was a... Oh, somebody was flying. That's cute. Uh -huh. Now, where's the day... The, the, the inn? Hang on a second. Where's the inn? Oh, it's way over there. Okay, I need to go to the inn <laughs> and the money, the bank. Um, Teal needs the money. Oh my god, there's a cow. It's the no. weather cow. Oh, it's not. It's just a regular cow. Uh, no, it's and, not a weather cow. Weather cows are out in the field. Well, excuse me! <laughs> is that banter we do. Oh, yeah. I Anything hope, good did here? Did you guys miss it? <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Thank you, Thank Lacey. you. That is <laughs> epic. <laughs> What's in here? That is a house. Okay. I want to rob you of your stuff. Okay, you got any... There's jars of crap. Barrels of crap. Oh, a red book. Very Get out important. of my way. Red Remember book, the library book. teal with all the red books? That was pretty cool shit. Yes, all the books have been read. Yeah. Oh, well. Can't read that book. I wonder if I could read it later. Oh, there's a jumping puzzle. Teal's gonna love that one, Miyaka. Oh, no. Are you serious? <laughs> Y'all know I suck at the jumping puzzles. And, and the stream comes to a grinding halt. Yeah. Well, oh, well, puzzle, she says in air quotes. I got another garter. Oh, good. Eric can wear a garter then. <laughs> hey, Wrath of Wood, welcome to the stream. It's okay. a critical play with my wife, Teal, playing Dragon Quest Eleven. That's all in their house. <laughs> okay. Yes, flashbacks lacing to awe Jesus. Hey, oh, there's that jumping puzzle. there's the jumping puzzle. Oh. Fine. Can you figure it out, honey? <laughs> immediately goes and tries to jump in the area. She can't. That's great. This is great. This is why Studio Blue does a thing. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Somebody give me a derp. We need oh. a derp. <laughs> hey, I got better at it. <laughs> yeah, I put oh. it in a bag. I'll put you in a bag. Hey. I just oh, love denied these. lacing because she already did one. Yeah. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, is she gonna um <laughs> jump up the way with all the stuff in the way, right, Rat? Right. Okay. So, do you know where you're going? Oh, I know where I'm going. Uh-huh. To the tavern. Theoretical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anybody buy that? Hey. Oh, that's hilarious. So that wasn't actually the way you were meant to solve that puzzle, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Now, excuse me while I stare at this lady's cleavage for a moment. <laughs> for this um, is a, this wow. is a Studio Blue stream. We're bound to get a little racy scene Hey, later. look what he's doing. He's staring at her. He's creeping. He's creeping. Yeah. <laughs> He's creeping. Oh. <laughs> and you a married man. Tisk tisk. Mm -mm. Yeah, excuse me while I stare at this lady. Hey, AOD, welcome to the stream. Yes, Teal is back. I am back. We have 100% more Teal. We're doing all right, AOD. It's been it's been interesting. Uh, we finally caught up on a lot of our sleep. Um, we took Monday off and just slept all day and feel so much better. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and Griffin says, I'm gonna go, I'm going where I end up, yeah. Exactly. Y you ever notice that, you know, the way you, the place you end up is like the last place you were heading towards? Crazy. That is so epically profound, Steel. I know, I should be a philosopher. A philosopher? Yes, a loss of philosopher. A, a loss of philosopher. Oh, there were no. There's no books in a tavern. There are no. There's just beer. Thought that was common knowledge. Interesting. They're using the Japanese way to uh, have yes. somebody come here. It's called hawking. He's he's hawking like a Japanese hawker. And I uh, didn't even need a permit. Well, there you go. Yeah. I don't understand. What do you really understand? Snorri. I love these names. I do, too. The names of these characters are so punny. There we go. I know AOD, right? Ends that have booze. Booze and boobs. I mean, what else do you expect? <laughs> I saved this for you guys. What? 
Oh, is this? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Puff Puff. It's time for Puff Puff. Let's Puff Puff. Let's... Okay, guys, we're going to Puff Puff. You want the Puff Puff? Wait, what? Oh, no. She's setting a Puff You're Puff You're denying day. me the Puff Puff? Oh, Harbor no. Harbor Bell tomorrow at lunchtime. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't like you. <laughs> well, it looks like I got to wait. Miyaka says, behind the wooden wall. Behind the wood wall. The wood wall. Okay. <laughs> behind the wood wall. And I don't know what Bubba Hotep's saying. I think Bubba Hotep wants your attention. Boo boo Hotep. Bruh, did I ask that kill the question? What what question? Oh, you have to sleep first until tomorrow noon. Okay, well, let's do it. Okay. Because a man without his puff puff is a very unhappy man. Stay overnight. Yeah, stay yes. overnight. Stay until it's puff puff time. Hey, Teal. Yeah? It's puff puff o'clock. Yes, it is. So it's dawn right now. See? No, it's daytime. Okay. I don't care. <coughs> okay. Ah, uh, Boo Boo Hotep is Hotep. asking the question. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I didn't actually look at the map. <laughs> I'm going to get shot. Boo Boo Hotep is going to come through that monitor and slap me. So you're going to get your daily dose of Puff Puff? Yeah. The wood wall you said? Is this the wood wall? That's the treasure chest. That is. Okay. All yeah. right. No, nope, at least things accurate. Teal, Teal got yes, lost. I am lost. What Teal, freaking wood Teal wall? got lost in a circular open map. Uh, what wood wall? <laughs> it's great. Y'all are mean, by the way. The way you all get my wife lost on purpose. Oh, where's the wood wall? This is absolutely great. Is it outside? Is it inside? <laughs> You meet the pup pup girl out in the, the docks. docks. Uh -huh. Thank okay, you, Miyaka. This must be out in the docks. Okay. <laughs> it's like Teal reads something and then immediately forgets it. It's like she's Dude, like... Dude, they, they, they're very vague. They're what, like she, stupid vague. You're right, because meet me out at the docks is the most vaguest directions you can give. She didn't say docks. She just said bell. Okay, y'all, stop it. I'm going to do puff puff. <laughs> Keep very still. Puff, 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 and finally, puff, 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 puff. That reminds me of last night. Oh God, he sneezed in her puff puff. Yeah, he did. He sneezed in the puff puff. Oh, she found the chest, all right, Miyaka. I found the chest. Mm-hmm. She found that chest. <laughs> and we get a sliminary for it. Awesome. Ooh. And a little bit of exhibition. Okay. <sighs> yes, uh, but it's not funny when we rag you, Miyaka. Yeah. Look at all these cool people. Ah, <laughs> uh, listen, a slime of culture. Yeah. Okay, all jokes aside, thank you very much, everyone, for directing us to that puff puff. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing else to do out here. Okay, go on and in back inside. Okay, are we going to continue the story now? No, we're going to get more stuff. Actually, didn't I take... don't know. Well, actually, honey. <laughs> yeah. You didn't accomplish the one thing you wanted to do. You went to the inn and didn't actually go to the bank. That's you got right. distracted by Puff Puff. God damn it. Like every other person in the world would. Hey, it's all about the Puff Puff. <laughs> Anyone who. <laughs> Remember, everybody, Teal is a fanboy. You mean fangirl? No. no. Fanboy. <laughs> I think we've done everything but the castle, too, Miyako. All right, deposited. Ah. Yeah, I already got the um, the achievement for having 50,000 gold in the bank. Yeah. I believe also she got the achievement for gaining 100,000. I did. All oh, right. I got all kinds of achievements. <clears throat> so Miyaka is saying that she believes you've done everything outside of the castle. I so think I have, too. At this point, we can save, if you want, and then yeah, go to the castle. Yeah, I better save. I better save. Just in case. Ah, thank you, Miyaka. You're limited in the town until the story arc is completed. Okay. 
and I'm, I'm confessing. All that I've done. <laughs> All of it. There you go, Miyaka giving some love. Aww. Yeah, I'm gonna overwrite this. Okay, we have saved. I just I like that music. I always get quiet because I do like that music. Uh, so very reverent. Hey. What? It's true. Story. Oh come on! Aww. No. Back out. Bag it. Okay. You know you notice the churches never have anything. No, they don't. They're very austere. Hey guys, is the stream health good? Uh, I'm seeing blue on my end, but how are things on your end? Because it's about that time. Alright, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. Let's go see what's going on. Let's see. Uh, what's going on? Right. What's going on? Are we going to get the blue orb? Are we going to see that the advisor's actually Mortagon? What's going to happen? What the hell? Thank you. Awesome, thank you, everyone. No, I didn't say anything. Great, looks like we're going good. I didn't say anything at all. Why? Did you hear something? I thought so, but... Well, never mind. It must have just been my imagination. Right, because go nothing go. good ever happened when you ignored <sighs> something terrible. Of course! Let's not tell our people anything. Awesome, thank you, Wrath of Wood, Miyaka, Griffin, Bubahotep, all y'all. Thank you so much. So, honestly, I'm suspecting the bad guy to show up any minute now. Any minute! Yeah, this game has been painting, uh, what's his name, Mortagon or whatever? Mortagon! Yeah, for just, he's just gonna show up and be like, I are Iwi! Guys, That's, this interior yeah. is beyond beautiful. That is. This is the kind of interior I would want to design That is in good. Unreal. Yes. Look at this beautiful stained glass. Very much so. Oh, God, I love the color scheme. And I'm getting a quest. It is very happy and very colorful, Wrath of Wood. The game is aesthetically gorgeous. Have fun, Storm in the Castle. Yeah. Think she'll make it lacing? Probably not. <laughs> what did the nobles have to say? <clears throat> It is. So, to very briefly touch upon uh, stained glass. Yeah. Stained glass is most useful when there's light sources around it. I mean, that's the whole point of it. Yeah. So, developers take note. If you're using stained glass as an aesthetic, be sure to use it around visible light sources. Like what this person did here. This is absolutely how you do it. Yeah, you want the light to shine through the stained glass. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lacing. Absolutely Possibly rough. the only other thing I might have done is mm -hmm. to add some um, a rainbow particle effect, right? Of the stained glass coming down and, and hitting a pattern on the floor. The little the little colored sparkles. Yeah. Yes. Aww. Well, that's actually true. No one would know a monarch better than their uh, closest servants. That's right. That is so true. Why, thank you, Lacing. Beautiful door. Absolutely beautiful door. You know what? Probably not a good idea to go in there. It's a teleportation tron. I don't know. I just made up a word. I know. You made up a word. Another beautiful door. Bum, 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 oh. oh, Miyaka firing shots. <laughs> is that the queen's bedroom? No, this is just her lap. This is just the uh, drawing room. Oh, okay. This is the day room where she takes the occasional nap. It's way too small to be a bedroom. <laughs> this is such a beautiful bed. It actually is. I want that bed. So, quick note of trivia. Teal, you know why canopies are a thing, right? Why they existed in those large Victorian rooms? Um, something about the draft? Both. It was both for the draft, but also because it's easier to sleep in a space that's not completely open, psychologically. Ah, It's a okay. feeling of security like the womb so the good stuff is downstairs I mean, I could giving you instructions to where all the tasties are okay unified architecture too by the way bug nets and that too wrath of wood bug nets <laughs> very important down in the south <laughs> i'm reading this go ahead 
a hub of research and learning. And so that's how Sniffleheim came into being. Ah. <sighs> nice. Now we are a little bit more learned about the Sniffles. I found a nobleman's knife. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's a mirror that doesn't reflect. <laughs> yeah. Because reflection is actually hard. It real, is hard to do. Real-time reflection is difficult and intensive on resources. Okay, here we go. Looks like a cutscene. You fool. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, it's the real, the real, real queen. queen. Huh? Huh? Hm. Oh, yeah? Well, if I'm a fool, then what are you? Oh, God. Please, Sister Spat. Sister oh, Spat. Oh, Veronica. Yeah, get in your sister's grill. What's the matter with you, Veronica? I didn't say anything. Yes, you did. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> These two are like thick as thieves. Yeah. Eh. Hmm. Something funny's going on around here. Let's get in and see the queen before anything else strange happens. So the mage, the super mage, just yeah. twice heard voices. Ah, it's the real, real queen. Like yeah, I said. Yeah, it's the real, real, real queen. queen. Right. So the queen we saved is not the real, real queen. It's Mortagon. I know it is. It's Mortagon in a domino mask. <laughs> <laughs> Some games actually copy and flip free. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that. You know what? Uh, kind of lazy. Yeah. It's also um, sometimes what they'll do is they'll also create a uh, sort of a, a camera, and they'll put the camera in the mirror and they'll cast the cam they'll cast the camera to the mirror. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of tricks you can do around. But yeah, I agree, Wrath. It's not easy to make it work. Oh, well, look at the giant pit of doom that you're going to fall into. Oh, oh, I know. This is this is not good, guys. No. Nope. <laughs> there's no way this is not suspicious. So if we go and actually get the blue orb without a problem, um, we're going to be laughing stock. Yeah. Wait, what is this? Look how they're dressed. Oh, the... It's like the it's like the Palades maids from uh, Overlord. <laughs> okay, so it must be like eighty four degrees inside there oh, for she them to wear this outfit. She cold blooded, honey. I actually, she probably is cold blooded. Yeah. Oh look, there's a whole bunch of tails. Mm hmm. Oh hells! Yeah. This game is just this game brought this game does telegraph. Yeah. It's shit, by the way. Ah, excellent. You came. Let me present to you the oh, orb of Sniffleheim. If you will just come a little closer. Step into my web, says the spider to the you fly. You guys just can't give us the damn blue orb, can you? Nope. <laughs> Stop. Huh? Seriously, what? right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, listen to the voice. Holy crap, are y'all stupid? Teal, this is once again that thing we hate, where the hero randomly becomes rock stupid. We don't like this. <sighs> no, but I let's, don't. Let's see what happens. Let's play it out. It's the book. No the shit. Book coming from the book. Please, you have to listen to me. Isabel, the woman in front of you is the witch. Okay. Which witch? The witch witch. <laughs> I think we've all wanted to say that. What? Ridiculous. She's the witch, not me. Don't believe her lies. Hmm. Trick us once, shame on you. Trick us twice, shame on us. You might not like being trapped in there again, but you'll just have to get used to it. Uh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> thank you, Lacing. Yeah. Although, having said that, if we were actually tricked into trapping the real queen, that would be an epic plot twist we have not seen before. I would love it. No, you're wrong. The spell didn't work because well. Snorri paused in the middle of it. There you go. You have to believe me. Oh. That that's interesting. She's lying. The wicked witch is trying to trick you again. You have to believe me. Everybody, calm down. I have been Her Majesty's Whatever. tutor for ten years. <laughs> if anyone can tell the real queen from the imposter, it is me. 
Equals yes, me. and this is the way a monarchy is run. Absolutely, <laughs> Miyaka. Yep, this is it. Everybody just shout at each other until laws are made. <laughs> I will ask one question to both of you. Whoever answers it correctly is the real queen. I mean, look at her face. And the 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 the, the bodyguard, the woman bodyguard over there on the right, dead. Mm -hmm. This this person is mean. Yeah. Okay. Here is the question. What is the true treasure of Sniffelheim? The real Frisabel would remember the way he's father's teaching. Holding his fist, he's like, "Go." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. The true treasure of Sniffelheim is clearly the blue ore. What else could it be but something so valuable? It's a uh... Friendship. The answer is friendship, my dear. <laughs> the orb, you say. Very well. <laughs> well. Now then, what is your answer? A delicious chicken fricassee. The true treasure of Sniffleheim. Oh God, I was right. It's the power of friendship. The bleakest blizzards assail them. <laughs> Ever do they warm these frigid climes with their ardent hearts? <laughs> Hell, I'm with the witch now. I'll kill the damn. I'll just kill them all myself. Yeah. Precisely. The very words the royal family <laughs> have passed down through okay. the generations. The real Queen Frisabel is the one in the book. I will give this game credit. That's a you good little twist. You know what he should have asked? Yeah. What is the velocity of an unladen swallow? <laughs> Baby, African or European? <laughs> <laughs> and that. No. She's a liar, you fools. You imbeciles. Can't you see? Curse you. Right. Oh, yes. Very queenly. Oh, <laughs> so jaded, Miyaka. And I like how Veronica just turns. So Veronica was trash tossing the book. Yeah. And this just now she's trash. Veronica don't care as long as she gets to just talk shit. Yep. That's my daughter. Yep. Oh, March, 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 March. March. Whoa! Uh-oh. Fine. You caught me out again. <clears throat> I surrender. I surrender. No, she doesn't. And she puts no, Veronica doesn't. into the next dragon quest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh, I wait all that time to get my powers back, and you make me waste every last drop on escaping that wretched book again. This is cool. Yep. I'm I'm a good I'm down with this. My magic is spent. Right, flesh? My life is yours. Boil me in a cauldron, burn me at the stake. Just get it over with. I, I, dude, Flesh, when she first appeared, I was talking about how, oh my god, the witch is here and she's so powerful and has a nice ass. So, yeah. <laughs> Men, take her to the dungeon. To okay. the dungeon. Guys, what do you think is going to happen when she gets her power back? It's going to be more freezing. All she has to do is rest. Frozen 2. You know, mana can regenerate. Wait. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's it. Show mercy. <sighs> I'm so nice and good. That what legit works in every story ever. It's Did the power of friendship. I'm going to make nice nice with the bad lady. <sighs> oh, wait. You actually get the option to walk away from the game right now? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, we have to put her in the dungeon? I guess so. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll put her in a dungeon, all right. <laughs> oh, Lord. The Don Corneo's dungeon, right? Yes, Don Corneo's <laughs> dungeon. <laughs> the dungeon of love. <laughs> I don't think they will. I think you're going to have to. <laughs> nope, I'm out of here. Thank you, Wrath. <laughs> yep. Wrath is like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Under the witch's control. Oh god, another cutscene! Because, you know, why couldn't we just go from one to the other? Queen Frisabel, 
please, step away from her. She says she has lost her powers, but how can we know for sure? She is a witch. It is in her nature to lie. Okay, that's a little negative there. A little, little prejudging. Uh-huh. I too am a witch. Listen to me. It is true that Kristalinda did something unforgivable when she froze this city. So I'm devising a better punishment than the dungeon. I'm going to heat up some iron shoes, oh, Jesus. put them on her feet, and she oh, can no. dance at my wedding. Oh, God. Bonus points if you know where that's from, by the way. Serious bonus points. <laughs> we spoke from time to time when she held me captive. She listened to me. She even helped me to understand what it is to be queen. That's Stockholm Syndrome. That's, that's Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> is not a bad heart and the time I spent in the book it gave me the chance to think to ready myself to truly rule at last ah, that does make sense Miyaka I guess she, you couldn't go and talk to your group <laughs> Boba Hotep's terrible but that's such a cool thing I believe her when she says her powers are spent <sighs> she's not a threat to us any longer we must let her live. Yeah, still put her in the dungeon. Her and her onesie. Yeah. Hmm. She hmm. seems convinced, Nori. Why not give Crystalinda one last chance? Because she froze your entire kingdom solid. Yeah. I mean, I'm all for forgiving people, but... Very well. You are the ruler of this kingdom, <laughs> your majesty. If that is your decision, we will gladly follow it. Although I think it's uh. a big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points if you know where that's from. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you fools! Roast. Uh, Must you be so nicey, nicey, Frisabel? You're making me look bad. Granddaughter. Dun dun dun. Yes, granddaughter. I'd laugh my ass off. There's something I still don't understand. Why did you freeze Sniffleheim in the first place? It was a slow Monday. <laughs> oh, that was a favor for a friend. The splendid specimen who released ah, here we go. the grimoire. Finally, give us info. <sighs> Tell, Tell us, us about. Tell us what you know. Your beautiful friend. As you know, I was trapped in that dusty, fusty library for a horribly long time. Oh, it was so, so boring. Teal? Yeah? Why is it that when she says the word fusty, I feel excitement? I guess because it rhymes with busty. Then, yeah. Three months ago, That's my girl. Had, he took down my book from the shelf and spoke to me. <laughs> I think he's dead. We're safe now. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Because <laughs> that always works. Oh, God, it's Jasper. You from your Fucking Jasper. Yeah. You the other guy with the necklace, by the way. Yes, the other guy with the necklace. Yes. Uh-huh. I think we're about For to get raided. Beautiful boy like you? Anything. Free me and I am yours forever. Naked raid. A raid without the actual raid. <laughs> now now I'm getting uh, images of uh, Animal House. Panty raid! Yes, panty raid. Right, Tron, we did. Naked raid. <laughs> oh, here we go. Woo! Deck of all ops in his panty raid! Thank you so much for the raid, you absolute legend! I said it first. Hey, Jack, welcome to the stream. Everyone else watching, Nico, Rythay, and Tron, all them peoples. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. We're, we're learning plot. Yeah. And when he arrives, I would like you to kill him. So, basically, after all this time, we finally confirm what we've always wanted to know. Jasper is a twit who will stop at nothing to kill Hendrick. Wow. Remember, from the very beginning of the game, their rivalry has always been talked about, and we know Jasper is a... This is, you can quote me, officially, a cunt muffin. He is. So, now it's been confirmed. Yep. Yes. Yay, plot! Alright, let's do it. So I did as he asked. And when the great hero arrived, I decided to have him run a little errand for me before I disposed of him. To slay a mighty beast that just happened to have stolen my powers. And, well, the rest you know. Yeah, so basically, Jasper freed Crystal, uh, Crystalinda to kill 
Kendrick. Yeah. And Crystalinda said, hey, I can also use him to kill the beast that's sealing my powers away. Yep. Oh, no, he is a flat-out asshole. Agreed, yeah, Miyaka. Absolute asshole. I mean, he's been Mr. Jerkface, but he is just straight-up unredeemable villain asshole at this point. The same pendant as Sir Hendrik, eh? And what was this handsome young fellow's name, might I ask? <laughs> His name? Oh, I haven't a clue. He disappeared after he freed me, and I haven't seen him since. It's a shame. He was such a pretty little thing. Uh, is he best boy, Tron? Is that what it is? Ooh, best boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yuck. Teal? <laughs> 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 I, I like how Jade's just standing there very stoically. Well, I just need to know whose ass I have to kick. Yeah, that, that's exactly what she's thinking. That or she's thinking waffles. W waffles is also possible. So, Thank you once again for all you have done are we going to see a Crystalinda redemption arc? I would love that. Well, you have to have somebody be redeemed, right? It wouldn't be a JRPG without a, a villain turning good. True story, true story. By the way, for those of you who just joined, Teal's back. But yes, I would love to see a crystal into redemption arc. I would. All right, let's see what happens. Do we actually get the orb? We get the orb. Finally, my God. I'm God. not going to say that out loud, Trot, and shame on you. <laughs> but your majesty, isn't the orb one of your kingdom's most precious treasures? Slime support. Are you sure you don't mind us taking it? Uh, actually, it was a paperweight. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> As my father always said. The true treasure of this kingdom is its people, and if not for you, they may well have been frozen forever. You know, because you have to have a population in order to have a kingdom to begin with. <laughs> there is such a variety of slimes, it's great! Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> Teal's getting all sorts of slime Yay! love. Yay! We do love Teal. Well, if you insist, <laughs> best of luck with all your royal duties, and... Try not to let the pressure get to you, okay? Yeah, pretty much right, Thane. 100%. Like, down to the wire. <laughs> Try. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about mm. that, little girl. <laughs> Frisabelle will be just fine. <laughs> I plan to take very good care of her. She can take good care of me any day. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Honey, it's about the same shape. I mean, la, 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 la. Oh, it's not a horn. <laughs> it's not a horn at all. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> hey, do we actually have them all? Holy <gasps> shit! No way! We can finally get to Yggdrasil. Oh we my god! Yeah, circle of jewel, something. Yeah. She Head west to the Snarefold and climb through the first forest, open a path to Yggdrasil. Oh my god! This is amazing. Okay. We might actually get to Yggdrasil tonight, unless there's like another twelve-hour dungeon with several side quests and another story. Probably. Arc. Because that's how this game rolls. Well. <laughs> so, Tron, oh. can she depose your rule anytime she wants? Is that is that what you're saying? Yeah. We should be fine. She can play. I thought she's a peach, right? Thing. Oh my god. Wait. It, Graceless is Grace. Graceless isn't here. Why are we getting so naughty? <laughs> it started with the uh, panty raid, and it really did. Thirty hour dungeon. Have fun. <laughs> See you later, guys. Woo. <laughs> And and the boobies. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, get in there. Get in there and do it. Do it for science. That's gorgeous. What does it do? Oh, oh it's, it's an elevator. elevator. And then they go down. This is true, Tron. You and Graceless do take turns corrupting the chat. Ah, we're in the basement. Is this where all the goodies are to Miyaka? Ah, uh, well, Miyaka says we're at all exposition now, as long as you don't spend too many hours exploring. So I think that's your warning shot, my love. A warning shot. Yeah, not to spend the whole stream exploring. I see. But then what will we do next week on Dragon Quest Z? Some people pay good money for the dungeon experience. You know, Wrath, having grown up in New Orleans and knowing a number of people in the New Orleans BDSM scene, I can concur. Some people will pay top dollar to get chained to a wall. I am not lying. Some people pay top dollar to get spanked. Wall chain to a wall. <laughs> Booba Hotel. <laughs> so is that where Tweety Bird's kept? <gasps> it's a little thingy. Aww. Yeah. They're very cute. They are. <laughs> Alright, also true, right thing. I mean, we'll obviously try to keep it some level of clean here, but yes. Yeah. 
You'll pay top dollar to, uh... Well, I don't know. To do a thing. Nothing in here. But there's a little dude, so... There's a little dude. He'd be chilling. It's probably an Act 2 thing. It's probably an Act 2 thing. Yeah, everyone has different tastes, Tron. It's... I mean, honestly, maybe on AMA Ask, Teal and I have seen quite a bit in our days. Ah, uh, yeah. We have seen some stuff. I didn't actually want to do that. Didn't want to do what? There was another door. There was another door? There was another door. So, did you get lost? Shut up. Chat, did, did, did Teal get lost? Uh, the upcoming zones are fairly linear until the first forest. Got it. Thank you, Miyaka. See, Miyaka is, Miyaka is our strategy guide for those of you who are new to this critical play. Yeah. Miyaka is the strategy guide. Along and with and it's a locked door that no one can get in. Uh, of course. Well, is there anything to rob in here? Teal has priorities. Oh, there we go. Treasure chest. Yeah, it's even got a thing sitting next to it saying, steal this. Oh, oh I got a really in a sapphire. Oh, I'm going to have to smash some pots. <gasps> a yes, mini because metal. Because nothing says being a hero like random acts of vandalism. Hey. It pays off. Uh, hey, look uh, at the cannons. Isn't that just cute? It's like arson, honey. We need to talk about all of this. We need to address these things. It's not robbing. It's wealth relocation. <laughs> exactly. It's redistribution of the wealth. Tron gets it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm done down to the basement. Of thank you. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Are you done, my beloved? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Smash that pot. Beat it. Beat that pot. Make the pot big for mercy. Right. I am going straight to bed tonight <laughs> without this, without my supper. Be sure to put rare mats, on-use weapons, and stat seeds into the character's battle inventories before you go to the chapel in the next city. Lacing just hit you up with something. <laughs> yeah. And what is Till we act to? But Miyaka. Yes, thank you. Uh, you know, getting smashed from pot? Hey, if you're in a city, if you're in a, a state that allows that, you go you. You do your thing. <laughs> or if you're the bupkises next door, then you they get your friend. They just do it anyway. With the good stuff. <laughs> By the way, they were at it again the other night, so we have an AMA story for you all Friday. They, they did it again. And they've improved. They, it's like they keep upgrading. It, like, seriously, it's like the dioramas or the settlements in Fallout 4... Like, every time I see the bupkises, they've upgraded. Yeah. But we'll, we'll tell you guys this Friday. It's crazy. Hmm. Didn't you hear vandalism is okay? All right. So, pretty much at this point, um, I guess we head to the next city. Which, uh, I guess we'll be told where that is. The Snarfelt? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, we may need a hint as to we're supposed to go out into the uh, is it okay. this right here? Uh, I would guess so, yes. Uh, also, lacing is, yeah. Um, I wasn't sure what you mean by rare mats on use weapons. I think what's happening is you're going to be cut off from your non character inventory for a while. I think that's what, what lacing is saying. Port to the camp in Snarfelt if you want a shortcut. Yeah, so go to the Snarfelt. <laughs> Sneaselton, right? No, it's oh. Wesselton. Snusselton. <laughs> oh, we get a cutscene. Yay. Okay, Eric, what do you got to say, Swami? <laughs> what are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? Loitering? None uh, of business. There's Puff Puff. So? Did you get the orb or what? He was getting massive, god-shaking amounts of Puff Puff. Uh-huh. We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. Oh my. Oh really? my god. Really, oh, look, 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 look at the look on Jade. Jade's face is, I could punt this kid into the water. Yeah. And Silvando's face is, I'll help you. <laughs> that is great. 
Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. I think that this party is the only ones who don't know. Yeah, I would have to say so. <laughs> yes, Bubba Hotep, the city of Snortworth, otherwise known as Mucuston. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same. Oh my as the god. Oh my god. Don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? How can anyone in this story not put that much together? I mean, at the very least, Eric and Hero would know wow. they've seen the guys. Wow. Really, I do. Well. Standing around here guessing won't do us any I think good. they all we failed their perception checks. Every single one of them. Uh-huh. I'm with you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. As he slowly walks off. Ha! <laughs> Derp to the game. Lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Egdrasil. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lacing. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? It's not there. <laughs> it got moved. It's only a model. Woo! Best ever. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes! Yes! I knew it! Shanghai girls! Oh shit. Oh shit. Is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Does she know what it is? I don't know. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <laughs> <gasps> Sir Rab, you have got red hair <laughs> and red face. Oh my god. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Oh, uh, yes, please. Someone clip that. <laughs> and give us a teal laugh, please. <laughs> Guys, chill. It's just sex. Hey, Seaboth, welcome so much to the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know my grandfather was back. Thank you, Lacing. The articles, I tell you. The articles. <laughs> Uh, this is the PC. This is Steam. Yeah, we're not playing S, unfortunately. Because mm. Studio Blue doesn't have a Switch. Oh. oh, no. Dirty old man with the sex mags. This is like the greatest JRPG trope ever. Absolutely. Ha Hapasai, Roger Bacon, and now Rab. Oh, that's so god tier. Oh my god, I cry. Oh. And I love how everyone reacts. Like... You know, because they're all the pure good guys. They don't think about sex. Oh, check the attribute screen, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is God, dear. Okay, so we're looking towards Rab, I think. Okay. What are we looking Dirty for? Dirty old man. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, no, no. Let's get it right, honey. Yeah. God tier. God tier. I said it twice. I don't care. Yeah, Prince of Dundrasil. Actually, yeah, what is it? Prince of Dundrasil. Eric's Eldrick's pal, right? Hero's pal. Serena's sister. Oh, relegated, relegated to sister status bad. only. All right. right. Pugilus Princess. <laughs> Works, yes. Veronica's sister. Okay. Silvando. The, the Wandering, Wandering Wonder. Wonder. Yes. And, and then Dirty Old Man. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to Snarefelt campsite. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, it is kind of delayed. <laughs> uh, but at least the stream is healthy. Huh? Very healthy. It's had okay. its protein. <clears throat> so, did you, honey, mm -hmm. get it's the advice. advice? Do you understand yeah. what you're being asked to do as far as your stuff? Okay. Um. So, uh... That would be a no. So, no. Miyako or Lacing, please repeat what Teal needs to do. And then ding Teal so she knows to look at the chat. Hold on, because I... You can't scroll. <laughs> yeah, please repeat, because apparently it's a really important thing that's about to happen. And we don't want to get blowed up. So, uh, No, Seaboss, uh, done with that game for now. 
just stay, sticking with our regular schedule, which is Wednesdays Dragon Quest XI and Thursdays Final Fantasy VII Remake. But it's still a critical play, so we're still criticizing the shit out of this game. <laughs> just not when Rab pulls up porn. Yeah. So there's the seeds. Yes, Cloud Teal is back! Okay, there we go. So go to the next town. Get to the town intro. Right. Okay. Search town. Search town. Right. Or urge the town. Whatever that is. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna kick my ass. Freddy said the same thing when Daphne found his magazine to Scooby Doo, right? Oh. <clears throat> if you've never seen it, their uh, Shadow uh, Shadow Hearts Covenant, the sequel to Shadow Hearts, mm -hmm. has a scene where the main character Yuri has a religious moment with Roger Bacon over the porn mag Shanghai Girls. It can only be described as a religious moment. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> am I supposed to go to the Arborian Highlands? Ah, uh, I think so. Yeah. You terrible cloud. Okay, and then get all your seeds and rare mats like Saint's Ashes and put them in your character's inventory, screw herbs and shit. We got it, Miyaka. Thank you. Alright, let us march onward into the breach. Yeah, it's the star, so you're heading to the arboreal butt lands. Cause something's gonna happen. We're gonna finally have momentum. The story's gonna go forward. When you leave town, you can swap your inventories back. Arigato, Miyaka -san. Search them for get all your seeds and rare mats. Thank you, Miyaka. Yeah, we got you covered, baby. Don't worry. All right, we okay. You just you, you, you just you, I'll, I'll just do this thing. Yeah, and, you play um, and comment and uh, analyze the game, and the rest of the stream will make sure you don't blow up. Wow, this is like really freaking cold. Is that people dressed as polar bears? Of course it is. This <gasps> is Dragon Quest XI. Oh, it's adorable. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Uh, the shaders on that are amazing. This is good stuff. Actually, we've noticed that about this game. It handles its shape. And that's how Teal navigates, by the way. That's I love the sliding. Yeah. I love the sliding. That's it's a dragon. That is a dragon. Or something. That, that's a dragon. It's a, it's a reindeer dragon, but it's, it's still a dragon. It's frozen. All right, come on. Fight some polar bear people. <clears throat> uh, this is exciting. It is, Wrath. Uh, the shaders in this game are so good. Yeah, it's just so oh, pretty. Oh, otter shambles. Is that what they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see them. Yeah, they're little snow otters. And now they're dead. Wow. You know, weak to Veronica. Thank you, Lacing. <laughs> it is Shinron, right? <laughs> Dragons on ice. <laughs> are those the dudes? No, those are they're not polar bear costumes, they're actually snow otter costumes, yeah. Flush. We was wrong. But he's eating a clam. Oh, I mean, wow. Hey. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to munch on clams. Um <clears throat> what? Stop it. Fine. I'm gonna get law and ordered, aren't I? Yeah, you no. are. She she can't law and order me because she just rim shot it, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stick with it. They're they're wearing one the polar oh, bear outfit. Speaking of enemies, Teal. Up. Yeah? Tell them the enemy you saw last night that made you squeal and summoned me from across the house. Oh yes. Um I encountered King Slimes. Yeah, so, King Slime. I am halfway across the house, in my office, and suddenly I hear Teal let out what can only be described as a schoolgirl squeal. Yeah. And she's like, Steal! And she comes running in with these, I mean, like, literally big anime green eyes, and she's like, It's a King Slime, because it's big and it has a crown! It was go yes, yeah, it was a giant blue slime. With a nice king's crown on. I mean, it was a really nice crown. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Seaboth. Thank you for the for the sub, man. Thank you. I'm really appreciative. 
We love all you guys. You all have been all been amazing. Aha! Perry! Block! That's so cool. <sighs> Studio Blue has a great community. Yeah, guys we do. Awesome. We have a really good community. And King Cure Slimes, too. So apparently those aren't the only slimes with crowns. By the way, this whole thing with King Slimes started in an old RPG Maker game we did a Let's Play on years ago. Yeah. And a King Slime attacked the king. You know, because of course that's what King Slimes do. They attack kings, right? But you could tell it was a King Slime because it had a crown inside of it. Yeah. And Teal on the video legit lost her shit. I did. I lost it. And it was beautiful. And it has never been the same since then. Absolutely not. And we're headed back to the entrance. Still headed back to the entrance. No. I'm not. Hmm. Hold on a second. What are you looking for, honey? Those are all elsewhere. Those are all away from the goal. Yeah, I thought I saw a sparkle here. No, it's just a particle effect. Okay. Yeah. And Lacing's like, move on, get a move on, get a move on. The stream isn't going to last all night. <laughs> okay. I know, you're getting shimmied by a kid. It's great. I'm sorry, a young lady. Lacing is stream police, so I have to behave or I'll get put on probation. Uh, you will be. No, I'll get put on... Double probation. Double secret probation. Oh, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> that tongue. <laughs> I bet he's great at parties. <laughs> oh, this is great. What a lineup. Look at that. This is great. You're going to have... <laughs> he's pepped. Fantastic. Oh, we have pep powers. Scorched Earth. That's just him. Oh, this is default. Oh, I got law and order by lacing. Damn it. It's a slime sickle. Aww. Of course it is. Of course it is. They come in different flavors, like lime, blue raspberry, and uh, coconut. Yeah. I pick coconut because I like coconut. You do? I do. I have a lovely bunch of coconuts. She can't get me again. Aha. Well, everybody just gonna pep now, ain't well, they? Well, shit. Uh, you know, if Hero Pep, she can do a four-way. Yeah? <clears throat> hmm. Just kill it with fire. Actually, hit it with your butt. That's like the greatest in the entire... That's like the greatest right there. Hit it with your butt, girl. Oh, that's so awesome. I can never get tired of seeing that. <laughs> she got a lot of surface area, so it causes extra damage. Okay, got it. Okay. So Miyaka's is giving a great piece of advice. She's okay. saying that we want to be headed to the next zone after the next city before 8 p.m. our time to get to the end of Act 1 tonight. All right. So I guess we're being kind of pushed. Serious but sumo action, man. You know, it's one of those things where the the more surface area of the attack, the greater the impact. That's how physics work, right? Yeah. That's physics. Yeah. I love the falling snow effect. Uh, you ain't wrong, Bubba Hotep. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> but sumo action. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like grass and green and sunny. Well, honey, that's how weather works. Okay, that was too <laughs> rough of a transition. That, that Seriously, really was. that was not a realistic transition. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's uh. those ass clowns. <laughs> I've fought these idiots before. But one bridge from your favorite game. Oh, God. Yeah. A game that is like the bane of my existence. Uh, but yes, no. That bridge that was randomly just snowy for no reason. I was like, maybe the shake, maybe the texture's broken. No, it's just, just bad. <laughs> he brought back up. I'm uh, in 
gotta tell you, this is one of the stillier enemies I've encountered. What, uh, the statue? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's basically Jerkules. And Leasing is, is having an argument with Mama, so uh, we'll, okay. we'll figure that one out. Um, none of them connect with, uh, pep powers. Yeah, uh, Hero has to pep. And then yeah. they'll all connect. And you'll annihilate the shit out of them. So, you know, when in doubt, hit it with your butt. Mm, mm, what a way to go. Yeah. Okay. Give him the boom. Weak to Veronica. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, actually, uh, so I've I've uh, got the first one from last week up on Patreon. So Patreon and Twitch subscribers will be able to see it. So people who are subscribed to us on Twitch or our Patreon backers will see the one from last Wednesday. Thursdays will go up tomorrow. And then sometime this weekend, I'm going to put up sort of a post-mortem. It's kind of a finalized review, my final thoughts on it, because I am done playing the game for now. And uh, hopefully that information will get to the developers, and the developers can make the game the best they can. <laughs> I, I like how the uh, living statues have a hard time moving, except when they're attacking you. Yeah. That's, that's to me, a cool effect. Like, they act very statue-like, and then they come to life and beat your ass. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> that's the best thing. Sweet. Which party, uh, Griffin? Was easy. Oh, well, aren't you just sexy? Which party, Griffin? This one or the one from Edge of Eternity? Yeah, I'm running past everything, and I'm not looking or exploring or getting treasure, or getting into fight. So. But you probably need to jump on a mount to get to the next part of the game. This one, yeah, I guess they do keep blinking while you're fighting, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, funny thing about that, Griffin. I've been a Doctor Who fan forever. That was the first episode of the new Doctor Who I've ever seen. But that was the first episode of any Doctor Who ever that Griffin saw. I mean, that Griffin, that Teal saw, Lord help me. That was Teal's first ever episode of anything related to Doctor Who. She'd never seen any of the old stuff, any of the new stuff. Blink was her first episode. Yeah. Dude, oh man, Griffin, you're my new best friend. Yes, fourth doctor or no doctor, man. Mmm, that's Scarf. That's Scarf. So there's only one on this jumping egg run. So it's only one treasure. So just go ahead and grab it. When you murder the shit out of them. With Zap. Yeah. Cool, so a very brief thing. But yes, Teal's very first Doctor Who anything was the episode Blink. Yeah. And she looked at me when it was over and says, that was terrifying. This series is, is like, it's, this is horror, isn't it? I'm like, actually, this is not usual Doctor Who right here. And she's like, what? I was like, yeah, that's not usually horror. And she's like, wait. Uh, they jump the point back there. It, it is if you want to. <laughs> it is, but it's also terrifying and not like a lot of the other episodes. Although, no. uh, that was, was that Tenet? That was Tenet, I believe. No, that's not a jumping point. Oh, well, poot. I know, right? I mean, I started with, uh, the first Doctor, uh... No, actually, no, the first Doctor. My first one ever was Tom Baker. Then I went back and watched the older episodes with the first Doctor that were available. I think you're right. <laughs> now you're a kettle. The jump button. Well, I mean, it's hard for Kill to find that lacing. 
I just love David Tennant in general, Miyaka, and him as Kilgrave in uh, Jessica Jones. Mwah. Best villain. All right, Teal's got it. Teal's got this, guys. He's got this. Look at that. Look at that amazing Mario 64 jumping going on. Yay, butterfly wing. So basically, you just kind of jump around the parameter and catch your items. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> As Barty, uh, Barty Crouch Jr.? Yes. With the tongue. There. 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 <laughs> Look at that kettle jump. Yeah, basically, Wrath in a kettle, Yay! jumping around. And you got a mini metal, honey. Yes, I did. So, so that's it? Uh, there's one more sparkle, I believe. Just keep looking. Do not jinx it, Bubba Hotep. Teal, do not look at Bubba Hotep Road. It will jinx you. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm on to you, dude. Well, this is a bridge. I think this takes me out. Well, that's what bridges usually do. Yeah. One more sparkle towards the top. Please don't jump down. I'm not. For the sake of lacing and lacing's cat, don't jump down. Ah. Well, Miyaka's saying check, but it was just one sparkle. We have a cutscene. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. We're in Greece. Yeah, we're in Greece. Like legit Athens. Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, I'm down with this place. Holy shit. Wow. It's in the mountains. It's Grecian architecture. I'm all about this place now. Who would have thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail? It's... Breathtaking. Take me now, hero. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old home. Oh, shit, we're in Aboria. Yes, we are. Oh, my God, we're where the girls are from. Uh huh. Wait, you mean this is. It is indeed. Welcome to Arboria, home of the keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Well, other than that being ridiculously I formal, was that was awesome. Well, dull. But it's good to be back. <laughs> the altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. Right, which you gotta watch out for because you gotta do all the other stuff first. Arboria before we head up there. What? Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. A tea. Oh, damn, a tea. she's so innocent. Right, we'll remember. We'll remember, Lacing. Don't worry, we're not going to screw this up. Nah, but... So, so explore... Very the pretty. whole place in its entirety. And get all the goodies. Then... Put all the rare mats and seeds into your inventory, your character inventory, and forget about herbs. And then continue the story. Okay. Just explore here. Yeah, explore. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, great and glorious Idrisil whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches. <gasps> and the baptism. It's a baptism ceremony. Yeah. Place. One life ends, and another begins. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arboria. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent bow. Well, now we know why uh, Serena talks so slowly. It's natural. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so cute. It's a baby. And it's got killer eyebrows, just like a Dragon Ball Z baby. Ah. <laughs> I love that. Our beloved twins return. This is great. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good 
day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. <laughs> but, Veronica, were you not taller when last <laughs> Why, how keenly observant of you, sir. It's a long story. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious, Miyaka. That's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Can it really be? Now we must eat him ritually. Oh, what a yeah. Day this is. <laughs> not only do we welcome a new life into the village. But we, ob we, we welcome the object of our feast. <laughs> Please, get him prepared with the cooking oils. If they all put their hands together, sit down, and say the exact same thing at the exact same time, I'm off the stream. <laughs> I am Benedictus, high priest. Of course you are. <laughs> and I have waited my whole life for this moment. <laughs> Benedictus. So you have Serena and Veronica. And then you have Benedictus. We're gonna throw in random Latin at you. <laughs> On our travels, we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. It's that pervert rab with his nasty magazine. Yeah. Oh yeah, cuz plot. Exactly. Boba hot up. No, it was blah. So this Mordigan has the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest. And is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes. But we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. But what they didn't realize was it was actually the Mana Beast. And it's going to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah... It is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. And someone had and a And then you man. fell off the stairs, <laughs> bounced all the way down to the bottom of the mountain, <laughs> broke your legs, and we had a huge feast afterwards. It was great. Oh, it was good eating. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision... Surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. Sure. Sure. At this point, everything is suspect. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. That's an awful lot of words to say, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, he reminds me of the wizard Gandalf. Yes, he, exactly. He took the old man the wizard way of speaking. Lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. Oh, the, yeah, there you go. Mm. He, you think? So basically... See, he starts climbing now, because it's going to take him all freaking day <laughs> to finish climbing those steps. <laughs> Great. Yes. <laughs> Heal yet. <laughs> I have to run if I walk the movies over by the time I get there. Okay, so very important. Yeah. Do not go up to the Great Cathedral until you have done everything that Miyaka and Lacing has told you to do. Yeah, no big chapel for you yet. <laughs> oh, hells. That was great. They have to make up for the silent protagonist exactly, Raph. We have to throw words at the script until it makes sense. Word salad. Word salad. Mmm, hey, some delicious word salad with some Yggdrasil goddess dressing. Yeah. <laughs> A thousand words. <clears throat> okay. Actually, do a swap Serena back into the party, right? Okay. Yeah, we will. We will put Serena into the party. But not until you're screaming at the screen, holding onto your cat lacing. Miyaka, let us know when that happens. <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered. This is how Steel dies. 
Cool. Good oh, to know I have Bianca. a home. All right, cool. Hey, what do we got? Zombie <laughs> Spain. Aboria ha <laughs> Aboria has wares if Lumiere has coin. Hmm. This is all great weaponry. Yeah, it is. Too bad we can't afford it. I will train my cat to murder you. So basically, Lacing, you're going to turn your cat into a Khajiit of the Dark Brotherhood. Got it. <laughs> murder isn't steel, so you're safe for now. Well, I don't know. Wow. But, uh, you don't really want to piss off Lacing. The cat was giving me the... Wow. <laughs> What, All kinds but, of but the cat was adorable because the cat was napping during the daytime in that picture that Lacing shared with us. And then the cat was awake and staring out the window at night like something serious was going on out there. <laughs> Thank you for your custom. We don't hear that often. No. Not enough not enough fantasy and medieval style games say thank you for your custom. They don't. That's the actual saying. Thank you for your custom. That's where the whole word customer came from. Oh! Fidelis and Alma! Alma. Alma. Er. <laughs> well, I so, go I guess you could say that Alma is the Mata? Oh, no. Oh, you went there. I did. Oh, wow. Uh, the girls don't take after Daddy at all. No. Let's see about Mother. Um, she's pretty, but, um, yeah. Hey, Teal, could you rotate the camera the other way and show both parents? What? Both of them, please. Just both of them. Move, move a little bit more. Show both parents. So, um, what has Mama been doing? Because both girls are blonde. Just saying. Oh. You know what? That's actually a good point. <laughs> the um, unless this is a, an actual little plot point or something, the um, Sprite should have blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Griffin said adopted. Ah, uh, you say adopted, Griffin? I'm thinking Mama was visiting the temple a little bit after hours for some uh, extra donations. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did I say, Bianca? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a perfectly clean person. The hero was the Lumiere. <laughs> she said, <laughs> she can't type it. <laughs> okay, true, Miyaka. True, true, true. Technically, blonde is a recessive trait, and you could have the blonde gene and not even realize it. That is absolutely accurate. However, it's funnier to speculate the other thing. Oh, okay, that was for the bed. <laughs> and this is why we love Miyaga, the stream mama. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's actually some good exposition. Yeah, it is. Let's mm. go invade a girl's bedroom. Yes, let's do... Wow, this is a loving family. Wow. Hey, let's go steal. I bet you that's Veronica's. <laughs> Probably. Oh, it's it's the other it's the other card. It's a supplicant card. There you go. Hang on, because I right, love this right. shit. Right. Right. Oh. Yeah. Very there nice. There we go. Mm hmm. Delicious. Yeah, I like those cards. Those are very cool. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it for that. Yay. Now let's spend the next 45 to uh, to 45 minutes mm -hmm. uh, slowly exploring every single part of this place. We have to make sure we catch every single cranny. And we should go back and check a couple of other places. Is it working yet, Miyaka? Oh, cool. Thank you. Yes, please do. Please do. Remember, don't go to the big one. Their accessories to do it better. Right, the supplicant's not really worth your time, Teal. Wow. That's good to know. Yeah. 
But this game is really good about exposition. I'll, I'll give it credit. There are times that I, I'm never lost as to what the world is about. Nice. <laughs> if I keep it in the bank, then I'll, I'll, I'll still That's have awesome, the money. I'm oh, sorry, what was that, honey? If I have it in the bank, I'll still have the money. Right. So, that's right. why I did that. They're only talking about items. We'll be good. I hope. Me too. Yeah. Either that or we're being trolled by chat and we're going to get a bunch of troll la 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 that's why people really come here to hear me sing. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> Can I go here? Yes, you just don't go to... Hey, that's the, that's the group that just had the baby. Aww, I want to see what they say. Oh, my wife and I have been happy for Marilyn for many years. Alas, Yggdrasil did not bless her with a child. I had almost given up hope that I'd ever be a father. But at long last, the world tree has answered my prayers and delivered unto us a beautiful baby boy. I am so happy. I shall name him Pretzel. To think that the luminary himself should be present at my son's baptism. Truly, the world tree must have great things in store for this boy. Yeah, it's because the boy's actual, his name is 12. He's a hero of Dragon Quest 12. Yeah. Oh, Griffin. No. <laughs> That's the big building, right? Oh, really? Okay, so Miyaka's saying that what we're doing is a pre-pre-pre-preparation. So we're not even going to see the fruits of this for several months. Alright, good to know. Okay. <laughs> there once was a famous sage who is filled with rage. He slapped a mage, put him in a cage, and then he went on stage. You're terrible. And I'm petting the puppy. I, I actually don't do limericks. It's one of my, uh, not one of my strong points. No. No, it's not. Now your father, your father was a master of limerick. That man. Fuck. Okay. More stuff. You know, everybody has a big red pot. Everyone should. Ooh, celestial skein. And nothing. Ah, uh, there you go. She's at the bookcase reading. Aha, uh -huh, she's a keeper, right? All this puffing and puff puffing. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of nice to get your main healer recognized. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's the copper cookware of a... Re yes, right, Miyaka? It's a Dutch oven. No, no, it's not. Oh! Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Ancient Dundrasil. You gotta say, I can't say Dundrasil any way other than like how Rab says it. Dundrasil. Uh, Erdwin. Yeah, interesting. I want to sling fireball just like she showed me. Well, do understand that Veronica also has other talents. She can insult you, she can talk shit, and she can jump up and slap you in the face. She's done it to a witch three times. Yes, she did. Okay, so there was that house. You're not going to talk to the person? Ah! Just love it. I love it. I <laughs> love how they react to that. You smashed up my pot! So, you know, we're near the end of Act 1. Uh-huh. And my favorite quote is still from Silvando, back when we were dealing with the asshole prince. And he's like, You have to get a good night's sleep, prince. You have a long day ahead tomorrow of us doing all your work for you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's still the greatest line of the game. Oh, it's so good. Well, have I done everything? Solando knocked I the have. snark out of the park. What's that, baby? I think I've gone everywhere I can. Well, I'm sure Miyako or Lacing will tell you if you haven't. Because that's the big, that's, 
there. But um, there's a quest by the chapel, so make sure you pick that up. Um, otherwise, yeah, I would say. Where's well, the grove of repose? Right. Um. Oh, absolutely, Lay Sing and Miyak, 100. percent I would say at this point, start moving your inventory. There's no reason not to. Yeah. I mean, you can go to the Grove of Repose. That's fine. I'm gonna go there. Because the story doesn't continue. It's a small cosp. Not a corpse. Cosp. I like when people use that. Aw, it's one of their boyfriends. Aw. See, short hair like that is still cute. Yeah. I like it. I say marry to one more short hair. And there's no music. None. Ooh, you don't need music. This is a sacred grove. What's he doing? Or she? Oh. Aww. Okay. Actually, search to the north, A A K A, to the right of the chapel on the other side of the water is a chest. Okay, Miyaka, we'll search there when we'll we get back. We'll search there when we get grove. down with the at the grove of repose. This is the grove of sacred sacredness. Yeah. Mm hmm. Sacred wow. cutscenes happen here. Hmm. This is kind of neat. Yeah, it's also kind of not useful right now, unfortunately. It better be an Act Two thing or near the end of Act One. And there's a flower just lit up. That was beautiful. Mm-hmm. In the sunlight. Oh, okay, Miyaka. Thank you. Thank you for the directions. We got this. We got this. Well, no sparkles here. I don't think so. Let's go do a thing. And now we got a little person we can take care of who's not Dora. Yeah. No, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Yeah. Chat would have screamed at you by now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, cue the music, please. I want to hear trumpets. Thank you. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna. Boop, 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 boop. So. Okay, so here ah, we are. And Grove in the has a quest after chapel. Fantastic. Okay. You know that might be wrath. The smoke break stop where they smoke. Okay, let's get into. Uh, Hang thing on, because there thing. was a chest, right? Right, uh, to the North. left of the chapel. So we don't actually complete the story. We don't continue the story until we go up to the chapel and talk to the dude. Okay. So you should be able to go to the left of that large building and be okay. Just don't go into the building or approach it. You don't do anything that risks triggering the cutscene. But nighttime is good. Night is good. Yeah, you know what we can also do, too, after we're done a little bit of exploring? Uh-huh. We can stay at the inn. One, it'll trigger back to daytime, better yeah. lighting. Two, um, we'll be fully healed in case something stupid happens. Yeah, it's true. Witness my fitness. Oh, uh, that's my new tagline now. Witness my fitness. There you go. Sweet. It's a fine fettle, honey. Watch it. There's a treasure chest. Aha! Ah, urn of stained urn. ashes. Okay. But is it the urn of sacred ashes? Uh. Okay, so do not. Yeah, don't approach that. Don't approach that. There you go. Yeah, just, she runs on the outskirts and approaches it from the side. Yeah, probably. I'm so glad probably that area was the trigger point. <laughs> okay, so you want me to stay at the end? Uh, I would do your inventory and then stay at the end and let's continue the quest. Okay. Let's do it. I mean, chat would be screaming if we're about to miss something and Miyaka's happy she actually got the right act, which is awesome. Okay. Oh, cool. And Lacing is giving us a heads up that later that man you just spoke to about his fettle. Uh huh. He will give us something for Serena with a quest. All right, let's do the inventory okay. management. Inventory management. Right, so remember. Rare mats and seeds. Personal inventory. Okay. Am I right in thinking, Miyaka and Lacing, that it's basically anything we want to keep goes in personal inventory? Is that accurate? Any seeds, especially seeds of skill, into your inventories. Any mats that say saints anything. Right. But get rid of the strong medicine and moon work and shit. They say herbs aren't useful. It's basically anything. I'm assuming it's anything we want to keep and we're going to lose our inventory. I'm, 
I know you guys don't want to spoil, but I mean, we're developers. We can kind of figure out, read between the lines here. We're going to lose our inventory probably, or have a point where we're not, we can't touch it for a while. Yeah, anything that we come really in handy later on, right? I'm going to keep the Augrazil leaf. Use Y to organize. Yeah, sounds great. Okay, right. She's not going to spoil, but late game crafting. I get you. Okay. Yeah, Yiggy Lee, uh, Yggdrasil leaves are good to keep. So please do. And uh, just to make sure, guys, it's any character's inventory, not just active party, correct? I, I've said that. I don't think she heard me. Miyaka's, what? they're saying, read what Miyaka says. Use Y to put all the non-essentials in your bag at once. Oh! Yeah, any character doesn't have to be active. So just hit Y. I did. Okay, so those are probably essentials then. I don't know. Okay, well, I have this in there, and I think that's good. So each character go through and hit Y. Okay. Yes. Right, so that's what you have to do. So you have to do it from the outskirt. Okay. So do that, do that for Eldrick as well when you're done. Because you didn't actually do it for him. There you go. Alright, so every character. Right. Chat's just throwing out items we're going to need. So don't worry. We'll, we'll we'll put all these in there. Don't worry, guys. Just let me know when you're ready, baby. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay. so go to the item bag. And start putting in your seeds. Put your seeds on characters. Did I sort by type? Yeah, I guess. I don't I don't know what the types are. Okay. Yeah, that should help. There you go. There you go. Okay, so there's the Lunaria. Well, that's just paralysis. That's not 100% okay. necessary. Unless they say otherwise. So, Sages, Elixirs, Perfect Panacea. I just have a regular Panacea. Okay. And then the Iggy, uh... The Yggdrasil leaves. Oh, here's this one Sage Elixir. There you go. So put that on a character. There you go. Yeah, just I think it's in order at this point. I don't think it matters who gets it, as long as someone in your party has okay, it. Okay, so now here's all these seeds. Yeah, same thing. All of them. Basically, what we're doing is we're prepping you for an event to occur. Again, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's obvious that something is going to happen to your inventory. There you go. Mm-hmm. Now you can put him on hero, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Agility. agility, right? Okay. I don't think it matters who gets them, by the way. It doesn't matter who gets them? No, just put them on the characters. Right. Transfer them all at once, right. There's no reason to be... What we're saying is, don't have to be ultra cautious. You just want to get it in your character inventory. It's not about who has what. Okay. Right, we'll be redoing this after we leave town, so just do an item dump. Pretty okay. Betsy, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she needs some of that. She doesn't have a whole lot of charisma. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, uh, Sage Elixirs, Elfin Elixirs if you have them, uh, Yggdrasil Leaves, absolutely. And then oh, rare... I want to I keep that because you can sell that shit, right? What do you mean? Do I need to keep the Drasilian shillings and stuff because I have a Sovereign and a shillings? Yeah, uh, yeah, go ahead, put it on. Right, 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 we're just making fun of her because she has no charisma. Oh, shillings or no? So no, don't put it on. So uh, use your rare mats now. Right, unless you have a ton of room. So like your ores, your platinum ores, your gold ores, the stuff that is really hard to get a hold of. Put that on a character. It'll tell you if you're out of room, so you don't have to worry about running out of room. Don't worry about inventory management. Just you're basically dumping. How do I know if it? It'll rare? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Gold or platinum or saints' ashes, saints' urns, anything with the word saint in it. The royal gems. There you go, Royal Rubies. Put that in. Savvy Sapphires, good too, I guess. Sure, go ahead. Alright. I'm just looking at the rarities. There, there you go. Yep, we're getting it, we're getting it. Teal's got it. Right. And maybe your glimmer grass, that is a C. Just think on that later on, if you have room. Oh, this was hard for me to get. And put it on. This was hard. Okay. But remember, the game will continue to tell you if you're out of room, so don't feel like you have to manage this goes here and that goes there. Just start dumping it. Ava branches, yeah, those two. There we go. Magic Beast Hide. Yeah. There you go. You said Magic Beast Hide? Mm-hmm. Yes, please. Slime drops. Man, I, I gotta give a head. I gotta give a shout out to Miyaka and Lacing. They are on the ball right here. They are on the ball. Slime, slime drops. drops. Got those? Cool. Yeah. Put them slime drops on there. <laughs> She's like, oh my god, they're a pain to farm. All right. And that crown, yeah, you like that crown. Yes, I do. If you have toad oil, that... Ha! Ah, horse manure! Mm. <laughs> it's poop! <laughs> Alright, almost done. Okay. Good job. Thank you, everybody, for being patient, by the way. Apparently, this is really important. Bell cap. Use the bell cap. Put that on. There you go. Slime crown ice skin? crystal. Bell cap. You're good so far. Okay. We're on top. Saints ashes. Absolutely. And royal soil. Probably thunderball too, because I remember that one was a little hard yeah, for you to get. Yeah, it was hard. And we should be G2G. And sainted Soma, of course. Yeah. Now just... All that stuff. Put it on. All this? Do it. All of it. All, all of them. Don't worry about who you put them on. The game will tell you if you're out of room.
Yeah, the extra murals, right. Thunderballs, absolutely. So, last night she got two Thunderballs in a row. Yeah. She was very happy. We should be good for Rumiaka. And there you go, Sainted Soma. All right. We got it. Is that oh, it, guys? Oh, yes. Did I get everything? Yes, yes. Uh, chat, if there's anything we're missing, please let us know now because we are about to continue the game. Um, and they're saying you don't need herbs or anything for what's about to happen. Take one more look, of course. Well, exactly. I guess if you wanted to add extra stuff, things that are a C, or like an I that are really expensive, but that'd be it. Enchanted stones, right. Exactly. Enchanted stones. Yeah, the diamond. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. It's If it's a rank C item, it's a little harder to get your hands on. It is. So, yeah, those. I got these last night. Mm, she was very proud of herself, too. All right, last one. Got those pearls, absolutely. Mirror stone. Very cool. You probably will have just enough room, hon. Yeah, that one too. That was rough to get. I think we are good. We may be I able think to... that's good. Oh, off of branches. Yeah, those two. Apparently those are hard to get your hands on later. That's what, at least I think, Lacing said. Or somebody. There you go. We can buy all the pearls, we right? Can buy, we can buy all the pearls. I'm not worried about... And the purple eyes. We can buy purple eyes. I'm not worried about that. Nice. Then we're good. I, I think we're good. Yeah, off of branches are a pain to get, right? I think that'd be it. Glimmergrass was a little rough, but I think you can buy it now. At the one of the camps. Yeah, so it should be good. Um, yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, I can buy them. Yeah. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. What about uh, any equipment? Uh, that's a good question. Any equipment that we need to move over? Let us know as, you know, ASAP, I guess. Because some of this stuff, I, um, you know, like the, you know, bunny ears, I need that for a quest. And, um... Nope, we're good. Okay. Because some of these I... Right. No, we're good. I crafted. I mean, I've got, like, all kinds of earrings and shit. Yeah, I understand. We're good. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Stay at the end. Heal up. Now let's go. Do let's I need do it? Okay. Okay. Spend the night. There we go. Night time, everybody. So, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, chat. Thank you, Miyaka. Thank yeah. you, Lacing. Thank you for helping, and also, yeah. thank you, everyone, for being patient. Apparently, this is really important. Okay. All right, let's continue the story. All right, now we move up the central highway in the center of town to the center. We may actually make it to the end of Act 1 tonight. Ah, we have all six orbs. Well, honored luminary. Yes, Wrath, we do. Proceed? Standing right in front of it. Interesting, Lacing. Okay. Wow. It's all the heroes from the previous Dragon yeah, Quest games. Yeah, and look at those beautiful murals. That is, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very well done. These pictures, they're incredible. 
Wow. Yagdrasil on fire. Yeah, seriously. They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. A tale as old as time. <laughs> and that's what we do here. The tale of the luminary. A child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil. One sent to save us from disaster. But he had much anger in him, and his anger Our led to hate. Here is not the first to be known by that name. No. The first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Edria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself. The heart of Yggdrasil. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. And so, the world tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend. Why does he look like a hero from another Dragon Quest game? Yeah. He forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. <sighs> a band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. <gasps> the Ooh. twins! Well. Oh my god! Well. The, the, the sage is reborn of the twins! They, they kind of do, Miyaka. Yeah, I know, right? It seems that way. Serenica. Serenica. Uh, Veronica Serena. Yeah. Uh-huh. Veronica. Serena. Your friend here is the luminary reborn and together you are the reincarnation of his companion as a writer i am uber grateful that they told you that right after you figured it out yeah so there's no like what does that mean it just is <laughs> uh -huh. no, humble so humble i suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. Oh, those dark ones. She can't even take a bath without three or four of them jumping in after <laughs> you. Damn dark ones. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go to the restroom. <laughs> and he just wanders off. There's like a 12 minute flush. <laughs> <laughs> and they do all kind of look the same, Miyaka. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. You know, I'm not buying any of this anymore. I mean, I know there's like legends and stuff. But Mordigan is way too convenient of a villain. There's got to be something else going on. There has to be. Okay, we can get a, a quest from him. Cool. Is this where I'm supposed to go and activate those two quests? From, from those people? I or guess not? so. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. The child and that dude. Head back into town and see the purple okay, box. Okay, got it. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna whoop some ass. Lumiere style. Oh, you know what? I need to change my party lineup. Yeah, that's right. We got to put in Serena. Serenica. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye, Yade. We don't need no yet. Okay. Purple bot. It's the Buddha bot. Grab the quest, toss a few herbs into your inventories, save, and let's party. Alright, we are G2G. Super soup. Nice. Okay. A single leaf, the red kale. Ooh, kale's good. I love mm. kale. Kale is tasty. Like, uh, steamed kale is so good. It is, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need to go back to the Grove of Contemplation. Ah. And, uh... Talk so to I have kid. to ask Miyaka... Is Lacing Chomping at the bitch yet? <gasps> Look, it's a little child! Woof, woof, woof! Oh, it's absolutely adorable. 
<laughs> so cute. Uh, so Lacing is saying if we even if we have to go a little bit over, mm -hmm. we really need to see the end of Act One and shouldn't cliffhanger it. Sure. We'll play nice Lacing, promise. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, he gonna get a flower to help a white pearl. bulb. Oh my god. Oh. That's hilarious. Oh, we get a healer ribbon. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah, a good reward. I could use one of those. Pretty the cool. Sprite bulbs. Good to know, Miyaka. At least we just have to beat it and get the item instead of like attacking the enemy during the nighttime while it's raining. With a pet power that includes oh, three people. Oh, I was so people. pissed. <clears throat> what was that? Well, that was like the, the share care or something? Yeah. Against like a Grand Marnier or some crap? I was, was nuts. I was not happy about that. <laughs> he was so pissed. So, you all know my wife has a bit of a mouth. Last night she was cussing up a storm because she couldn't get the exact combination. She, she chilled out, of course, and yeah. obviously got it, but it was still funny. Okay, so y'all right. are saying something about... um. Just toss a few herbs in your inventory for an emergency. Ah, good to know, Miyaka. Yeah, strong medicine. Just toss a few in there in case you have an emergency. I mean, we probably aren't going to need it, but I think they're saying just in case the world explodes. Herbs. This. Yeah, strong medicine. Yeah. This. Or superior medicine, I think, would be better. I don't have superior medicine. Oh, I do have superior medicine. I do. I don't have superior medicine. Oh, I do. Teal, 2020. Shut up. <laughs> uh. All right, and then some strongs, and you got it. I guess Eldrick. Sure. I mean, does it really matter? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You just want to have... A couple of herbs in your inventory in case of an emergency. That is literally what they're saying. I guess that's it. Yes, if you can't put any more strong medicines on anyone, we are good to go. There you go. Five. That's it. Oh. Alright, a few more. Huh? Yeah, I think we're good. It, yes or good. no? No, we're good. Let's move on. Okay. Let's save the game and move on. We're good. Thank you again, everybody in chat, for helping us and being patient. Now confess your sins, child. Yeah, seriously. Confess. Confess. Okay, we got this. Okay, <sighs> we, we will do the quest. We will. Lacing, do we have to finish the Red Kale quest before the end of Act 1? Or can we turn it in in Act 2? That is important to know. Yeah, about fighting that rare monster. I mean, I don't want to spend the whole rest of the night trying to find that rare so, monster. Just just so you know, multiple choice questions can't be answered with a yes or no. <laughs> do we do it before the end of Act 1, or can we do it after the end of Act 1? <laughs> okay, we have to turn it in when we get the item. Thank you, Miyaka. Okay. Okay, before the ending of the act. Thank you, Miyaka. Thank you, Lacing. All right, let's go do this. You All saved? right. Yeah, I did. So head to the first forest. All right, time to murderify. Alrighty, here we go. This is it. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Studio Blue is going to complete Act 1 of Dragon Quest XI. We hope. We hope, yeah. <laughs> it's murder. It's murder like butter. Uh-huh. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Ba-ba-ba-ba. We should make a song to fit this we and should. actually sing it out. All right, so be sure to fight every single enemy. Take your time. Um, very slowly go through each battle, right? Sure. Yes. Is goo bones. Ew, those look like somebody peeled something out of a clam and then used necromancy on it. That's disgusting. I love that. Oh, just spank it. You have a sword that hits twice. <laughs> Also that. Teal plays Demon Souls. Hey man, that Demon Souls remastered, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh god, the trolling. The trolling. <sighs> oh wow, there's like a little dragon creature. Holy shit, that is a dragon from one of the uh yeah. dragon quests. Holy shit. Did and I a quote, it? shut up, mom. <laughs> oh, he's gonna jump you. Hit him. Punch him in the face. His other face. That rock was a monster. Yeah. Is it a I bad, see that. Was it like, is it a bad boulder? Is that what they're gonna call it? Bad boulder? No, it's a grenade. Because, of course, it is. Grenade. Uh terrible. It's a blood bonnet. Thank you. And there's the back of Serena's knees. Yum. Holy shit, that did way too much damage. I love how we can see uh, Yggdrasil in the background. Yeah, isn't that great? It's fantastic. Veronica wins again. Veronica always wins. Yeah. Oh, goody! We get treasure! Yay. Get it. Get it now. Get it. Oh, ho, ho. so good. Goody, mini metal. Well, you know that makes sense. Air is the opposite of Earth. I just don't figure that tornadoes would go well against large masses of land, but what do I know? That dragon wants to fight you. Yeah, it Why does. Why are you denying it? Come on, Shinlong wants to grant a wish. Do you really want me to fight the dragon? Hit him in the nose right when he's about to attack you so you get the upper hand. Do it. For science, come on. There you Fine. go. Okay. Smack puff. The magic dragon right in the face and make him do your homework. Right. You know, you're 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 hilarious. Try to be. I have my moments. It's an ethereal serpent. <laughs> it's now a a non-poisoned, angrier ethereal serpent. Yeah. So it's flying, so does that mean it's weak to earth? I don't know how any of this works. You know, I, I don't know. Well, I do know one thing, honey. What? Veronica wins again. You're, you're hilarious. <laughs> yes. Ah. Oh, why is that not so awesome? That is so cool. Alright, come on. Cut a stash. Dragon is weak to wind. And it dies like a coil of doom. I was expecting more. Yeah. You're kind of OP for this stage in the game. Like, literally thanks to chat helping you. Yeah. You are OP. Alright, yeah, you know what to do. Oh, I have to fight this guy. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Hey, get him back he, here. You shot him in the ass and he no-sold you. He did. God, it is so awesome seeing these characters, these enemies that I am used to seeing in 8-bit or 16-bit, and seeing them in full 3D. That is just... I love that about this game. You're... Ver <laughs> oh, hey, thank you, Lacing. Stabby, stabby. Veronica. Weak to Veronica. Yes, weak to Veronica. And apparently weak to Serena. Oh, she's going to heal. 
She can heal Hero. Yep. After she sighs at him lovingly. Well, that's a thing. If it exists, it is weak to Veronica. Exactly. It's like we used to say when playing Final Fantasy IX. Side entrances! And the battle's over. Uh, it is, Miyaka. At least for someone like me who's played the first nice. three, I'm still catching quite yeah. a bit of stuff. So, yeah, this this whole game is definitely a love letter to DQ fans. Which I love. That's why I liked FF9 so much, because it was a love letter to Final Fantasy fans. Oh, it's a camp. Where we can save. Yeah, And rest until night. It is actually a fun game, Wrath. I will say this. On a story level, the game kind of starts off really, uh, like... Everything seems very contrived and very trite. And very, very cliche. But pretty quickly, it starts to get better. And about by the time you're, you're meeting your full party, the game gets really good. They are good camps. So, if you like... If you don't mind... If you don't mind campiness and puns, and you don't mind kind of tongue-in-cheek humor... This is a really good JRPG. Um, I can say that unless it does something stupid, it's definitely going to get a recommended from Studio Blue. Because it has turned itself around in every way possible. It still does some things every now and then that kind of make Teal and I go, really? But for the most part, it's good. Only two sparkle spots. Got it. There's also a book in Abori that references the Celestrians. Right, the race of the hero in DQ9. Right. Which I have... Like, I have a friend um, back from New Orleans. He's actually the best man at my wedding, and he's a massive DQ fan. And when we told him that we were playing DQ11, he's like, Oh, you're going to notice this, this, and this, and this, and this. I'm like, dude, I've only played DQ1, 2, and 3. Yeah. And he's going to be like, Okay, well, you're still going to get... It's like, okay. Okay, we got it, Haas. We got it. That's cool. Oh, shit. Platinum. There you go. I got two platinum. Put on. them in your uh, yeah. Put them in your your put them in your bag. You can put your weed in it. So Teal, as the critical play player, what yeah. are your thoughts on how things are coming so far? Um, I mean, you've been getting good advice. You obviously yeah. been doing your job this session, but where you feel this whole game is culminating, do you feel like the build-up is good? Do you feel like it's strong? Do you feel like it's not too in your face something is or is not going to happen? I feel like the build-up is just fine. I really do. Um, the only thing that aggravates me, of course, is just all the um, all these monsters. The mobs. Uh, yeah. Which we have talked about repeatedly. I mean, I don't want to fight the dragon. I mean, it's just stupid. Right. The the mob issue that this game has where it has an open area and way too many mobs. Edge of Eternity had that problem, too. And it appears to be games that have on-screen enemies in wide open areas see that think, seem to think the only way to give life to that area is to throw mobs in it. You know, and then you touch the enemy and go in the battle scene. I don't think it's necessary. I think it detracts. Teal, you feel the same way, right? I do. I yeah. feel the same way. This it just detracts from it. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been wanting to go with my six orbs to the world tree for quite some time. Yeah. And I just, I want to get there. Ah. So we're not super OP, that's why they keep chasing us. We look tasty to them. Okay. Because in uh, in this game, if you are above a certain level, the enemy won't chase you. I do recall hearing that from the earlier parts of the game. And we don't have to worry about inventory management right now. We're past okay. that point. We just need to race to the end. Uh, I agree completely on that, Wrath. Yes, Wrath says the overall mobs are better than random encounters. Yeah, they are. 
and we agree. A magic um, circle. So while it's still better than you walk a few feet and you get randomly attacked, it could be handled better. <laughs> the uh, painting world. Need I say oh, more to those boomerang. who remember that episode, Never right? Mind. What's that, sweetie? Oh, I just found a boomerang. Okay. Who cares? Make sure to get everything in the first forest. You won't get a, long, a chance to go back for a long time. Right. For the most part, Wrath, absolutely. The problem is, is that some of the areas, again, I'm referencing the painting world as a specific example. Uh, you're heading back. You're backtracking. Um, the painting world, like, there were certain parts you had to along the critical path literally hunt through mobs and duck and weave through them. And it get a little difficult at times when you're trying to play through the game and constantly avoid stuff. It's minor in comparison to how it could have been handled. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, Wrath. I mean, there was one point where it's a, a column of enemies on either side of you, and they're just standing there, and as you go in, they start chasing you. Yeah. That I was stuck. Like, that was a little too much, dudes. Wow. Wow. It, it is a chasm. Mm -hmm. Literally can't see the bottom. So what do you think, Teal? About what? This? Yeah. You're the uh, level design expert. I like it. I like the change of music, too. Yes. I like the way that they did all the moss and stuff on the bridge. This is good texture. Yes. Yes, Mossy Bridge does look neat, This rat. gives me a sense of being really high up. Like, yes. stupid high up. And I can't believe this bridge has no railings. <laughs> you know... Being this high up, you're going to have wind that just kind of blows through, and it's going to blow your butt right off the bridge. Yeah, um, you're being told information, mostly to take in the scenery, but also that there's a lot of places to explore. And also keep in mind, too, a mossy bridge, that level of moss also means age. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily very old, but it's a way to convey age. Yeah, plan your way through, right. Okay, so I need to go to the left. Is this the first. last dungeon, Miyaka, and lacing of Act 1? Or do we have something beyond this? They're mice. I'm being chased by uh -huh. mice. Hey, those were the things that were attacking you near the uh, beginning of the game, remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's little neat that we get to climb little vines again. I like vine climbing. It is fun. Okay, so Teal. Yeah. This is the final dungeon of Act 1. Okay. Shall we go the distance? Yes. We're going the distance. All We're right. not stopping until this act is done. There, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Studio Blue is going to stick with this stream until we complete Act 1 of Dragon Quest Eleven. And we don't go back for a stupid long time, so get everything, right? Right. Do I need to stick that in people's inventory? Because i got an urn of Saint's Ashes. We don't have to touch... Uh, they're saying inventory doesn't matter anymore. Oh, really? I don't know what has happened that it has any significance. But at this point, they're saying don't worry about inventory management. So... Okay. Maybe you guys can tell us when this is over with, because I'm confoozled. <laughs> Griffin, all right. <laughs> well, this is Teal exploring. If Teal actually played these games the way that she normally plays games, we'd be on this dungeon for about two hours, I can promise yeah, you. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Teal explores everything, and then she explores again. She is absolutely methodical. I am. There was a point that did a very special save point. You're past it now. Okay. Okay. But we don't know what happened at this time. Okay, got it. It probably had something to do with the paintings talking about the past. Maybe we're going to revisit the past at some point and have the inventory we had when that special save was dropped. That's me speculating as a developer. I don't know. But uh, it has something probably to do with that story, which is cool. And if that's the case, that, that gets a lot of love out of me. Did we skip something? No, no. It was something that happened naturally behind the scenes. Easy. Okay. That's what I got from what Miyaka said, and the rest I'm filling in the blanks, because, well, this is what I do for a living. Sure. 
This is what you do for a living, Steel. What? You mean talk a lot? Yes. Yeah, you talk a lot. I do. It's my job. Yay! I like fairy fluff. <laughs> so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done here. Yeah. Whee! You know, maybe what we'll do one day, maybe even your next game, uh huh, we'll do that uh, Skyrim mod Enderal, which is that standalone game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then they'll see how you play a Skyrim style game. That'll be fun. The teal doesn't explore enough. Oh, you guys asked for it. Okay, so it's ah, right, right past across the stream. there and on the left. Right, right across the stream. Got it. This is a very good forest dungeon. This reminds me of how we're designing the Black Forest in Unreal. Where it's natural terrain. So I'm going to say it, guys. <laughs> Developers, take note. Build your forest dungeons based on natural terrain. Yeah. Not, not unnatural blockers. Look at this. Look at how well this is done. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You've got your little paths and areas of sunlight and shadow. And you got Thank your you. big trees and you, and you just can go around them. Thank you, Lacing. Yeah, you just go around them. Yeah, but it's still a critical path. Yeah. You're still on a path. I will kill a mouse. I'm Absolutely, kill a mouse. Wrath. The splish splash. This game has those little touches that we love. Like uh, when you're in the snow, it makes. Um, that sucked. That when, hurt. When you're in the snow. It has um, little footprints. When you're in the desert, you kick up sand. So this game has a lot of nice little touches. Make it very pretty. Um, yeah. I, I'd do it. I would. I would I would try to poison the jowler and just murder it or slash it in the face or something. Because you know Veronica's going to kill all those little guys with boom. Yeah, why not? Or maybe sleep face. Either one. Okay, so we can try sleeper hit next time. Or weak to Veronica. Weak to Veronica. I love how utterly arrogant she is. Like that's he my is. girl right there. So arrogant. All right, Serena, kill it with your cuteness. Ah. And lacing likes to. Get on us for using words. And there's Lacing saying, boom, bitch. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We're on to you. <laughs> We're on to you, Miyaka's daughter. <laughs> hey, so... There you go. Straight forward. Yeah, and then you have a little, uh, little hole you can go in. Yeah. That thing is hunting you down. Oh man, that thing is coming at you worse than a DNCA strike from YouTube. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I would hope so. She came out of her mother. Oh, that's terrible. I'm going to hell. I can't believe you said that. I'm going to hell. But that's okay. I got company. Oh, that's hilarious. Isn't this a very good dungeon so, mechanic? This yeah. is a very good dungeon mechanic. This is cool. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, then you gotta jump down to get the thing. No, you gotta go through the cave. <gasps> no way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you gotta go back. You have to go back. Yeah, go in the cave now. Yeah. Yeah. But I get it. I get it. That is so well done. Haven't we talked about that? The showing areas that you can get to yes, from other areas? Yes, we have. That is good. Yes. Yes, that is... That is A-plus uh, level design. You gotta go all the way back. Nope. What do you mean? Further back. Go all the way back? Yeah, keep going back. Get past it up. You're gonna see a hole to the side on your right in a little bit. Go into the hole. You're not going to be able to miss the hole. I don't miss the hole. There you go. That's it. Thank you. 
Oh my god, flat flaps. Flappy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what that was for lacing, but I probably deserved it. Oh! It's a fruity succubat. It'll suck well, your fruit juice. Well, it's a dead succubat! Oh, he's gonna get your apple cider. Now it's gonna get fried. That little sigh she gives when she heals. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. I'm trying to behave. This is supposed to be a good stream. Right. It's supposed to be a, a, you know, a proper stream. Hmm. Holy shit, did you just see that? Teal. What? The battle ended with Hero dropping out of sleep. Yeah. So he shook his head. Right oh, before he did his victory awesome. pose. I've, that's God tier. It's God tier, isn't that it? That is God tier. So, yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Probably not, Lacing. I don't think I'm that pure. But, um, yeah, that's a great thing to do. Add that little bit of extra animation that if your character's inflicted with something, right? They do a little animation to unafflict right before their victory pose. Holy shit, we gotta do that in Rosen Hearts. Holy shit, that's so cool. I am just concentrating on killing this statue. Oh, it's just Hercules. Mm, yeah. Hey, how come God tier's at the God tier counters at three, and the teal lost counter is only at one? Because that girl has to have gotten lost at least five times this stream so far. Get Maybe with not. It. Get with the lacing. <laughs> 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 Easy peasy, extra squeezy. Everyone knows Don Corneo is sleazy. Oh, cool. Whoa! The Dirge, the dirge of, of Dundrasil! No, no, no. That's not right. What? It's the Dirge of Dundrasil! Okay. I say in my horrible Scottish accent, I'm going to hell for it. Oh, yeah, they are. are. So the statues are weak to sleep. The more you know. How to outdo the undead. Nice. Nice. All right. Zombie Slayers. And I get attacked by the stupid statue. Ah, <sighs> no. Spank it. Spank it? Put it to sleep. Yes, and how does one do that, pray tell? With Eric's ability? That says sleeper hit? I just smiled kind of condescendingly like Chaucer does in a night tale. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and this is why we love the Studio Blue audience. You guys are great. <laughs> Ain't nobody sacred. We all troll each other. We do. We troll each other constantly. Mm -hmm. Thank I wish they would drop something. Come on. Pretty much Miyaka, right? God damn it. I, I, exactly, Booba Hotep. When in doubt, smack it with your butt. I mean, it can get pretty devastating, you know? Force equals distance plus impact. Uh, sure. There we go. There's that treasure chest. It truly is lacing. This is Studio Blue and Audience Play DQ11. An ethereal stone! Yay! Oh, absolutely, Griffin. Ah, that's funny. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, but true, though. If you can't make fun of yourself, then you shouldn't make fun of other people. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to be able to dish it out to take it. I mean, shit, Teal and I have been doing that too, since we started dating. Like, we were, like, ultra nice and careful around each other for, like, about a month. At first, you know, like, can we, like, tease each other? Are we allowed to do that? Yeah. And then, like, after that, we were like, no, let's fuck it. Let's rag each other. Let's rag each other. Mm-hmm. It's been that way for years. All our friends, all of us are like that. We all... Well, like one of my best friends um, here in the city, he's a writer pal, and him and I literally will troll each other during uh, Oh, God, yeah, y'all are terrible. Mm-hmm. 
In fact, when we sit together, they're like, oh shit, it's the Wonder Twins. And we act up big time. Okay, move on to the east, right? So you probably want to go all the way to that cliff. Yeah. Hmm, that's There's, all the way over there. Yeah, so keep heading to your right where the arrow is pointing all the way along that line. Mm -hmm. And there's probably going to be something there on that cliff looking down over the, the river. Okay. Hey, Driftwood! Hey, Drifty, thanks for making it, man. Yeah, we're doing great. We are doing fantastic. Teal? Yes? Drifty's here? She Yay, sounded, it's Drifty! Isn't she sounding better? <laughs> she sounded better every single day. No, uh, we're doing great, guy. We're doing great. Hope you, T, Lily, and the Stop rest are doing fantastic. Stop chasing me, you bat! <laughs> okay, Sabi Sapphire is good. Oh my god, get away from me! Freak! Oh, that's hilarious. I don't want to fight these people. Hey, T, welcome as well to the stream. Yes, she is feeling better. T, uh, you can go ahead and answer. They're asking if you're feeling okay. I'm feeling a lot better. Um... I, I've been healing pretty well and getting used to my teeth. Had a little bit of a problem this evening, though, so I couldn't put my uh, uppers in. So my speech is a little impaired. But uh, other than that, I'm okay. You know? Just uh, just going forward. Yeah. Her appetite's gone back to normal. Her sleep schedule's gone back to as normal as it can. Um, she is doing significantly better. And... Uh, Everyone's love and support has been amazing. She's, yes, yes, it has been. It's this to get me through it, y'all. Yeah. Thank you to everyone. Okay, <laughs> I just saw a campsite over there, so let me get behind this big ugly. Uh-huh. Y'all are lucky. I'm not getting into all the fights. That's right. Usually I fight everything. Usually Teal does. Well, here's a chance to ask you your question, Teal, as What's the player. That? Uh-huh. Putting a camp right here in the middle of the last dungeon of Act 1, what do you think? Yeah. I would. You would say at this point it's a necessity? Yeah. Because if I've been grinding and stuff, which mm -hmm. is what I normally do, mm -hmm. I would want this camp here to just replenish my HP and MP. Right. Without blowing items and, and MP spells and stuff. Exactly. Uh, furthermore, since it activates a fast save, a fast travel... You can now fast travel back to the last town. Yeah. Cash in your side quests, and then I have to go through the whole dungeon again. Mm-hmm. So this offers a fantastic, uh, like really fantastic mechanic to get you through this last part of Act 1. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I just want to talk to my peeps. I had not talked yeah. to them in a while. I want to see what they have to say about our quest. Uh -huh. He's excited. He's excited. Well, notice he's doing Tai Chi and not looking at his dirty old man. He's mags. not looking at a dirty magazine at all. <laughs> wow. Well, she's you know, gotten contemplative. Well, I mean, she never truly forgave, forgave herself for losing you. You know, she, because she's a little girl carrying you in the beginning, she was terrified that uh, she had lost you forever. In fact, she blamed herself her whole life. Yeah. Oh, you should totally get this game, Primo. This game, and welcome to the stream, by the way, Primo. Uh, this game is amazing. It is. It starts off as a slow burn, like a lot of JRPGs do, and it can get rather tropish at times, but oh my god, this story is so good. And it's so much tongue-in-cheek humor. So much fun. I, I haven't actually played Tales of Basaria other than like the first 20 minutes of it. Um, Tales of games are very complex, so if it's anything like the others. <laughs> All right, Primo. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I haven't played Tales of Basaria. However, the Tales of games are very long, complex stories. This one's not nearly as complex. It does have twists and turns, but it's a lot of fun. And I think that's something a lot of JRPGs need is a fun factor. And this one definitely has the fun factor. And yeah, if, and if you have a Switch, absolutely get the Switch version. It is kind of like the director's cut. Alright, so we got a little treasure chest. Oh, Sil Silvando is a great character. Oh, yeah. He is Husbando. He's the Husbando. Uh-huh. Jade, Jade, Serena, pick your waifu, but 
Silvando is Hasbondo. Yeah. Oh, okay. then, oh, wow. Woohoo! Oh. Looks like I've got Damien beat on donations here. <laughs> Spam. <laughs> Drifty T, thank you so much for the you donation. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> All the love in the world to you guys. Oh, we're gonna have to rag Damien on this one later. Uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, that's great stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna continue around the circle. Yes. The circular path. Absolutely. And this is the first time we've encountered a dungeon of this shape in this game, so we haven't gotten bored with any of the dungeons yet. Yeah. They're all very different. Which is a good... Okay, that's a, up ahead. Very okay. good design point. Alright! Hey, shall I fight the cowardly lion? Yeah, beat his ass. Yeah, I am. Wake up, asshole! Oh! <laughs> and there's Teal getting the... Is that a Chamara? What is that? Mm, no. No, it's a winged lion. It's a winged lion, okay. Hey. So anyway, yes, yes, yes. Um, oh, I wouldn't worry about it, Lasik. Bianca's just happy to be here. She's like, Bianca's like, I'm stream mom. It's an infanticore. Whoa! It just beat the snot out of air. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, so we gotta look for a gold sparkle when this battle is over, because okay. the red kale will be nearby. Stab. And boom. Yeah, reek to Veronica. Oh my god, our girl is so tough. <laughs> She's so tough. We'll soon have that patched up. Yeah. Super healer. That's super, it. Super super healer. Mm-hmm. Ow! Quit crunching me, ass! Ow! Right, oh, you're right, gonna right. fry us again? Oh, look, look, I'm not steak. <laughs> Alright? <laughs> but you are. Uh, I would agree to people who say that. All, everyone has their own taste as to what they like in a game, but this is an amazing JRPG. If you like JRPGs, oh, yeah. absolutely pick it up. It is so much fun. <gasps> yes! I love these! I love this! Yes. This, this mechanic is so cool. Mm-hmm. Look how beautiful the plant life is. They did a great job. <sighs> if you kind of swing your camera around, mm -hmm. you'll see how you have the glowing bulb. Swing it around to the right just a little bit. See? That that little bit of bloom effect. That's beautiful. Bloom lighting. Yeah. When done properly and not overdone is so good. It is beautiful. So good. Okay, cool, Miyaka. Thank you. We'll keep our head, our eyes open. Okay. Shall I fight the tree stump? <clears throat> yes, I should fight a tree stump. Stumpy the dumpy. Come Damn. here. Yeah, I know you're going to be weak to fire. Well, we got to burn that firewood. Kill it. Eh, might as well. I mean, you're probably going to lose it anyway. Yeah. He's close to ending his pep. There you go. I Sweet. love the peps. Uh, absolutely, Primo. Uh, Persona 5 is my personal favorite JRPG of that that year. I think that's uh, 2018. Um, I have not finished it because I have got a backlog of games... That is literally longer than a national debt. But yes, I love Persona 5. And I would put it on the same level as DQ11. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. <laughs> Teal be like, I got this. Enemy's like, no you don't. Good. Fuck you. Alright, here we go. Frizzle. Come on! Come on! <laughs> All right, you're getting flame slashed. That's right. Okay, bow so before me. Pro <laughs> well, all right, Miss Steel. Uh, so yeah, Miyaka's saying let's avoid the trees. Yeah, yeah, we're avoiding tree stumps. <laughs> Screw those tree stumps. Hey, but Silvando powered up, so that's always good. And we are going to finish Act One tonight. Yeah, we are. 
All right, so around this area, look for that gold sparkle in this general vicinity. Yeah. He is the stump champ, so he speaks for the trees. More like the stump chump. Good job. Good job. Good job, Griffin. Good job, releasing. Wow. Oh, I'd be down for a Dark Clouds game on uh, modern hardware. Hell yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Just past here. Okay, so just go past here. Yeah, those are enemies. Ah, well then ignore them and go up the stairs. The mushroom stairs. This is so awesome! That is badass. Oh man, Dark Cloud was great. Like the original was still my favorite. Got a bell cap. Nice. Nice. Watch out for them little things. Mm-hmm. They're going to get you. Yeah. They do look like pancakes, Wrath. Which, now I want pancakes. So, great. Hang on a second. <laughs> Actually, we have waffles, right? Yeah, we have waffles. I'm having waffles. Okay. You got so I it? need to find a gold sparkle. Gold sparkle. It'll be in the area. Don't hyper focus. We'll see it. Don't worry. We got this one. Sometimes they hide. They do. The sneaky little buggers. Okay, well. Oh, that there's is... another creature. Mm. No, no, that's a stump. Uh uh. Go all the we... way to the end of this little piece. There's a hidden chest behind a tree. Okay. I think I see it. Across here? Having to micromanage the town placement was quite the puzzle. Exactly. Like, it was an... But they made town building a mechanic. That was so cool. The big-ass empty tree stump you're going to pass. Right in there. There we go. And then swing your camera around. Oh! Come on, get up there. <laughs> yeah, there were uh, little hidden spore enemies in there too absolutely and now you're gonna have this other side area okay mm okay so i think that advances you so let's head back yeah stay down okay go down right. going down because this going is studio down. blue and the audience plays dragon quest 11 hey we all do it's all it's it's a it's a group thing it's a cooperative it's a group deal what <laughs> Oh, look, it's the golden uh, glimmer. <laughs> I was nice. <laughs> okay. So while you're continuing to explore chat, do we want to head back now? Or yeah. do we need to continue exploring before heading back? Because, quite frankly, we have Kale. We have the Kale. Do I need to turn in that quest? Behind the tree. Go behind the tree. Okay. There you go. Treasure chest. Good cool. job, Lacey. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm. Nice. That was very awesome. Okay, so am I supposed to turn in the kill quest now, or wait? Uh, we'll let him know. We can kind of look around a little bit more. See if there's anything else. Get attacked by a yeah. lion. Well, the jump us. Okay, go ahead and turn in the quest. So zoom back to town, to Aboria, turn it in, and then you'll zoom to the campsite in the middle of the forest, and we are gonna do okay. it! We gonna do it! We got this, guys! Arboria, here we go. Now Boria. Ha ha! Lion, ah. lion can't get me! Nah, 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 nah. You denied him his stake. I did! He hates you. <clears throat> He declares you're against lions. Ah, uh, too bad. <laughs> too bloody bad. Meow, meow, meow. I love the architecture here. Still love it. Yeah. So it's the guy uh, to the left of the Grand <laughs> Chapel. The so keep going forward. Hang on, hang on. It's up here. Mm -hmm. I know where I'm going. If you get lucky and happen to spawn the rare for the hang other on, hang quest. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There he is. It's not a big loss and you can do it eventually. Okay, cool. There's Mr. Man. There you go. Yes, here you go. 
Very nice. So he's going to make his super soup to increase his battle. Mm. Is he going to grow a cape and start flying? No, okay. Still, that would be cool. Very awesome. <laughs> uh, the butterfly baton. Oh, wow. Really? Quest complete. Let's put it on our girl and see what it looks like. Probably her primary hand and then swap around and put the wyvern on her left. Her secondary hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Yep, and the wyvern on her offhand. Oh, that is amaze balls. Yeah. Uh, so I need to. I I want to. I I guess I want to improve it at some point. Yeah, at some point. I'm not wow, going to do I that. I'm we, not going to do that stuff now. I think we just made Serena like considerably more powerful because of the stat jumps. Yeah. That was cool. There we go. And make sure we drop a save, by the way. Well, we need to save. Yeah. yeah. Cuz we're hitting we're hitting that time. Not the time to end the stream. We're going no, all no, the way. No, 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 no. We're not ending the stream but until this is done. We're about to hit that time where it's going to be end of act 1. Yeah, I'm so excited. I oh, I hope so too. Think Griffin. Like I love it. Like like uh was it uh the keyblades in Kingdom Hearts, depending on what keychain you have? Different things pop out of the Heartless when you slap them. So I kind of hope that one happens. Or maybe she has little butterflies flying around her. That would be so cute! Oh, Lacing, you shouldn't have said that. What'd she say? It's the final countdown. Oh! <laughs> We're living together. We actually like that song here. I, I know the a lot of people bash countdown. it, but I like that song. I know, I do too. I love Final Countdown. Um, okay, so... Random fact, steals three favorite songs in order. Mm -hmm. Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, Toto's Africa, The Final Countdown by Europe. Awesome. That's it. Hey, Padre. Yes, Padre we are. Padre here? Welcome to the stream, Padre. It's good to see you, bud. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to do it tonight. We're going to finish Act 1. Yes. Even, we, even if we go over, it doesn't matter. Studio Blue is committed. To getting to the end of Act One of this game, yeah, we're we, committed. <laughs> we have, we are committed. <laughs> we're so committed. We've been playing this game since February, I think. Yeah, or January. It's, it's no, been Jan. a long time. Oh, too long. We had to skip some days because of teal surgery, but yeah, we got this. This is going to happen. This is our future. <laughs> it better go. be a damn good ending. I mean, it better be a good, good ending to the act. One. All right, we still have to search, of course, and make sure we don't miss any treasure chests or glowies. Or still, we're okay for now. Hang on. Ah, all right. We'll be sure to take some extra time to really enjoy Yggdrasil when we're up there. No, we're good. We are good. Oh, yeah. this is happening. Yeah. This is here. Happening. We go. Yeah, we're going up here. Climb, 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 climb. Climb, climb, everywhere there's climb. Scale this, don't scale that. Can you climb? I don't know why I randomly sing during these Those things. Those little things are cute. I'm, I'm killing one. <coughs> Teal has her priority straight. Oh, this is the sprite bulbs that a rare, uh, sometimes a rare thing will pop out. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. Well, I know it's making damage pop out of you, so... Did it just heal everything? That was too cute. Yeah. By the way, chat, is there a boss coming up? Or just cinema? Oh, you know there's probably a boss. Yeah. Uh, the, the boss is the, um, Serena's boots. I got nothing. I thought it would be Puss in Boots, personally. <laughs> You're right. Okay, let's uh, end this fight. Oh, Miyaka. Alright. 
Okay, so that instantly tells me it's a battle we're gonna lose. Got it. Okay. I don't know, I'm guessing. Hey, maybe if she clobbers it, it'll die. No, or it's only in the yellow. We she wouldn't be able to do that. Catch it on fire. That's also a viable way to murder something. Yeah. Yeah. What's here? Anything? There's Anything nothing. Uh, when we get to Yggdrasil, there's going to be about three good sparkles. Okay. So nothing it's literally here either. a straight shot. Nothing to... here either. <gasps> nothing. Okay. I want to put something there. Uh uh. The exactly level designer me would have put something there. Arson, we should talk about that. Mm-hmm. Lest us never forget that Teal wanted to burn it down. I still kind of do. <laughs> Maybe we should burn Yggdrasil down. Only you can prevent World Tree Forest fires. That's Dragon. You're going to hit it in the ass, aren't you? Yeah. It's a blue dragon with a gold tummy. And it is a blue dragon with a gold tummy. That is awesome. It's also a or a older Dragon Quest character. I think uh You're not gonna like this. Two? I don't cool. know. I don't remember which one it's from, but that is definitely an older school Dragon Quest character, and it's now envenomated, so it's going to die. Yeah, yeah murder time. It's dead. Like, we've already won. Yeah. Yeah, murder, murder. Well, I didn't do much. That did. A little more. I think it's dead to Veronica. No! Oh, wow! We're not actually going to get to Eric's turn where he can exploit the Venom. But that's okay. Please give me something good. Please give me something. Please. Ah! But you got the you. satisfaction. Okay, so don't go on the platform just yet. Okay. Basically, behind and beneath the platform is a final treasure chest. So be sure to get that before you climb the final platform. And my god, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. Did that dragon just attack those things? I think it did. That's the camp. Yeah, final camp. Oh, wow. This is your last... Like, this is last chance. Okay. Got it, Miyaka. I love this guy. <laughs> oh, Gramps. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. Mm. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on. Let's call it a night, huh? I love him. I, I love his, my husbando. The Vando is primo husbando. Mm-hmm. Oh, we even have a tent this time. So, we'll finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. That's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Oh. When did it right. turn into a Bollywood film? I, there needs to be a song and dance number. Well, she is a harpist. But is it more soothing than Edward's harp? Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Absolutely, Wrath. This is awesome. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. 
you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. I would agree, no. Lacing. The high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Ow. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Aww. Huh? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall at the same time, too? I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <laughs> that is absolute sisters right there. <laughs> but I hope they do. Aww. Aww. Sister love. Yeah. Best kind. There's a special kind of love that uh, siblings have. Yeah. That was very beautiful. How yeah. many times... Have we in our tabletop games had scenes like that where everything just clicked in the roleplay? Yeah. That those are the best scenes in any tabletop adventure. Okay. So underneath and behind. Underneath and behind the platform. Yeah, that area where Avoiding the dragons are. Avoiding all the freaking enemies. Yep. I actually like that idea, lacing, that the party's leaves are all close together on the branches. But, I mean, that's how life is, you know? You reach out, you meet people. Their lives influence yours. Your life's influence theirs, and that influence carries on to other people. Whether you want to call it the leaves on a tree, ripples in a pond, we... Each influence each other and leave our mark on each other's lives. Very beautiful. No, 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 up top. Oh, literally directly beneath the platform. Okay. Okay. So you're being told to ascend. So obviously we're going to jump in the water. Nope. Eh, it won't let me. Can we sneak past the enemy? It's a dragon. We can run past it. Yeah. So go up there? Yep. Okay. The area feels a lot bigger than what it is. Yes. I, I like that. Yes. I was just noticing that they are using the space. Oh, literally uh, underneath the stairs. Yeah. Okay. Got it. They are using that space, spatial perception, to make it look like it's a giant area when it's not. Yes. Oh, goody, another mini metal. You would Good. not have wanted to miss that. No, I would have been pissed. Mm -hmm. I am collecting these mini metals like an obsession. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the end of Act One. We're going to be quiet other than to react. Yeah. We're not we going to be critical, just reactionary. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? Ooh. <laughs> I, I still am going to think Dragon Balls. Hush. That's so cool. Hush deal. That's beautiful, though. They're very pretty. To think that they were created just for this purpose. Yeah. I mean, that's just so beautiful. It's a dragon. The Bifrost. The Bifrost. 
Holy shit, yes. Yeah, Chaos, Emeralds, Dragon Balls. It's just beautiful treasures. It is a rainbow bridge. You were right, Teal. Yep. It is the Bifrost. Yes, it's the Bifrost. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god, the scenery is beautiful. That is amazing. A bridge made of rainbows. It's beautiful. And so where's Heimdall? Yeah. Looks like it's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. Time to head up the Bifrost yeah. and go to Yggdrasil. This is it. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> the World Tree. Wow. Wow. Okay, remember, three sparkles. Otherwise, this is it. Okay. Well, there's the first one. I love the music. Wait, is this Serena's theme? Wow. With a flute and harp? Yeah. This is Serena's theme with a flute and harp. <gasps> oh Look my the... god, that's awesome. Oh! Holy crap! Uh-huh. Oh. Look oh. at the beautiful little Will of the Wisp. Oh my god. This is beautiful, guys. I mean, I know you're seeing it on stream. I'm actually peeking around the director's booth. And I stole a look at what Teal is seeing. Teal is seeing this in 4K. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Oh, okay. So we just got one sparkle. You'll okay. find it. Just one, yeah. Oh, this is so pretty. No enemies, just we just run up and take it in. Oh my god. Uh, there it is. Oh, this is gorgeous. Uh. Uh. Oh, this is this is just so beautiful. Oh wow. <laughs> I know, right? Wow. I mean, they have been building this up since we started playing, and they have not disappointed. No, they have not. Path <sighs> to the heart. Ah. Two sparkles. Okay. okay. There's the first one. They really kind of make it hard to miss, but... Oh, we're on the branches now. Yeah, we are. Oh, that is so cool. And then to the left. There we go. Oh, oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, yeah, I do want to live here too, Miyaka. Wow. Jeez, this is beautiful. So, yeah, um, take a moment and the uh, little flies fly above you. The wisp. Wow. This is such a pretty, pretty place. Yeah, this is so gorgeous. I mean, I really do feel like I am on a world tree. Yeah. You know, uh, Secret of Mana had this, but you never actually went on the mana tree. So this is kind of nice. Ooh. All right, let's do it. You ready, Teal? Yeah. Here it is. Wow. Hey, anyway, we can go into first person? Nah, you know what? Don't worry about it. No. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Wow. Yeah, take it in, guys. This is it. This is it. Beautiful forest canopy above. Yeah. And the heart. Hmm. Holy shit, is that That's Is that Urgent sword. sword? So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Well, I'm glad you guys can be here to watch us. This is awesome. Yeah. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? <laughs> So fascinating. I'm so
sort of scared, but I want to touch it. <laughs> oh, Silvando. Silvando. I love it. I love it. I and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. Joke. Not gonna make joke. Not gonna Do make not joke. Not make a joke. Hmm. Is a reverent moment. No, uh, actually, Evelyn, welcome to the stream. This is the end of Act One. That looks. After all. Only he can literally destined to dispel the darkness. The sword of light. The sword of light. That looks just like Erdrick's sword. Yeah. And that's fucking amazing. No, laddie. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and oh. claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. All right, hero. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. The way wow. the branches just move out of the way. Yeah, only you can save the world, laddie. Yeah. Aww. The little emotions. Ah. Oh, here comes Mordigan. Oh, you know shit. it. You know it. Fucking bitch. Oh no, it's Jasper. Oh. Wait. Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Could Jasper be Mortigan? Find you. <laughs> Did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? No fucking way. <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? I, I, I know, right, stream? How is this happening? What the hell? He teleported. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> think Eric, that face. Uh, can't move. Oh, man. I'm scared for all the Oborians now. Yeah. I'm scared that he's murdered them all. Now, tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Oh shit! We're gonna lose. This is this is absolutely a scripted battle. I called that part. Yeah. Oh, it's going down, Wood. Oh yeah. So yeah, no one heard his armor clanking up the tree. Okay, that yeah, yeah. I kept that. But the the Alborians, I would not be surprised if they're all dead now. I would actually applaud the game if they did that. Yeah. We can't hurt them. We can't right. touch them. We don't have the sword of light. Nope. If he's not Mortigan, he's holding Mortigan's power and he's working directly under him. One or the other. Right. <laughs> I bet he did practice that line, Miyaka. I bet the whole time he was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to pose like this. And it's going to be, mm, oh, yeah. And then we're going to go, and they're going to go, eh, eh, eh. So that's pretty much what Jasper did. Yeah. But it's one of those fights. Yeah. So we're probably only going to last a round or two. Right. Which, let's get critical for a second. Uh huh. If. This goes and draws out. That's exactly what you should not do during a scripted fight. We should all get one or two actions, and then he should smite the shit out of us. Right. I'm okay with scripted battles, as long as they don't drag. 
It don't matter. <laughs> well, that's still cute. Yep. Zamble. Oh, uh, they're gonna make us go. Th okay, good. Okay, cool, cool. They still just need to smite the shit out of us. We just can't attack. Yeah, but then if we heal, we go back and forth between that. So, yeah. Hopefully, this doesn't drag out because scripted battles should never drag out. Sure, try that. See if that works. Two rounds. I can accept. I can. Yeah. I can accept two rounds of a scripted fight. If he uses a superpower and smites us, that's fine. Because that means that you know we're just right. We're don't gonna wait. We're not gonna waste items. We're just healing and stuff. Right. Yeah. We can't beat this guy, so we just go through the script. That's so cute, though. She tried. Yeah, it's done. Frosty smile. Kazam. Okay, so yeah, this should be it. Right, don't even bother healing. Just okay. basically, we just go through it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got it. Ultima. Yep. We're all at one HP. Yep. Right. Okay. Oh, we're in our costumes. Our Whoa. original costumes. Original outfit. So that means this was pre-rendered. Our attacks 404. <laughs> Good job, Rat. We've never seen. Could he be? Yes. Yeah. Surely not. Yes. Oh. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Not one step further, Jasper. Is... Holy shit. It's Hendrik. Yes! Fucking... And the king! Yes! Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. Oh, wow. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's so... How long he has deceived us, <laughs> I do not know. But deceive us, he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world. <laughs> Confess, scoundrel. Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. Henrik is the man. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, no! no! No. You have served me well, Hendrik. O M F G. Your, your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? <sighs> oh no! Oh, you have got to be fucking kidding me! My God. Oh shit, it's Frieza! Oh, fuck me! My dear Jasper, it seems you have snared us a luminary. Very impressive. 
Uh, Hendrik is definitely the dumb. It is an honor to serve you, as always. Lord Mordigan. Wow. But, and that is definitely an Akira Toyama villain. <laughs> Where's Goku when you need him? So that was it. The king was... Wow. He was Mordigan all along. I, I did not see that coming. I didn't either. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, Luminary, you are in my power. And soon, your power will belong to me. He looks so much like the Dragon Lord from Dragon uh, Quest 1. Yeah. Give him a haircut. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, shit. Oh, he did not just steal he, that he power. Did. This is the power of the luminary. Oh, fuck me. This is bad. The key that unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. <gasps> And this blade is the fabled sword of light. Not very fitting for the Lord of Shadows. Oh shit, is he gonna corrupt the sword of light? He's gonna corrupt yeah. the fucking sword of light. <laughs> no way. It's Soul Edge! Oh, this is apocalyptically bad. Source of all life. your power to me. Oh, this is so not good. just powered up. Fucking hell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my god. End of Act 1. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Hey, he's falling into darkness. I think Sora had that happened to Sora once. Mm-hmm. That's so crazy. Oh, I'm very glad you guys didn't spoil it. This is amazing. Oh, there's Mum. What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? I had a night. Oh, it talks. I don't know, Booba Hotep. I don't think you can. I mean, Still this game is amazing. Your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Amber. Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch 
she's given me. Oh, jeez. Um. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? <sighs> That's mm -hmm. how you know they're going to get married. Yeah. Aww. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. That takes a bigger man than most are capable of. Yeah. I want to be friends with Jebra again, Mum. What should I do? Why, well, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. So we got to see things from Mortigan's point of view. Okay. Why would I want to become immortal and destroy the world tree? I'm having a hard time with that one. That's my boy. Oh, so cute. Yeah. yeah. Time for bed. He was really raised very well. Yes, he was. He was. I like how Hero is given that, night, night, you know, a good solid childhood. Very positive childhood. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Aw, she's singing him. Aww. Singing him a song. Water sun. Yeah. Have you found him yet? Not yet, master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead, then. Good. If that is the case. Then this world is mine. Wait. That's not Mortigan. That wasn't Mortigan, was it? I don't think so. Fuck, what's going on? What's going on? You're being looked at by fish. Well, I mean, it happens to me at least twice a week. It is good stuff, Wrath. And for everyone who had... That was Morgan, okay. Yeah. Now, oh, transformed Morgan, that's right. He powered up. Right, okay. Um, wow. Hey, this is Shell's kingdom, right? Mm-hmm, it is. Wait. Are we a fish? So, yeah. we're, we're the fishiary? We're a fish. Yeah, the fishiary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh my god. We are the fishiary. We're, we're in Atlantica. And we, we are. Do, 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 we are a fishiary. Oh, with a man purse. <laughs> right? Okay, so I want to thank everyone on chat. For allowing Teal and I to not engage chat for a little bit and really yeah. just react. That was amazing. I honestly was not expecting the game to go the turn that it went. Uh, neither am I. This is, um, wow. Oh, Griffin, no. a surprise. It's a finny pack. That's what Griffin <laughs> said. Oh. Mm, now we gotta get used to undersea combat. Yeah. God, I hated that stage so much. Oh, that is so neat. Wow. <sighs> this is gonna take some getting used to. Why? It's just Finny fun. It's Finny fun. <laughs> oh, you're awake. You're alert. You're alive. Oh, straight up wrath. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Your breath was getting shorter, you couldn't breathe the water, but look at you now. It's an unequivocal miracle. Queen Marina! Oh, Scott, this game just got amazing, and it was already good. It just got way cool. It just got way cool. We gotta save. Yeah. And, and call for the evening, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, 
get to a save point. We could talk to this young lady right here. Ah. Uh. There you go. Right, right, right. Yeah, she's urging us to go forth. We we do not want to flounder here. Oh, you're terrible. I know I am. This is why we need to like stop for n tonight because I'm going to get worse. Okay, so we we go up, then the the save point's actually in the palace. Yes. So. The depth of this game. That's fine. That's fine. When we get to the save point, we will stop for the evening. Yeah. But again, thank you to the chat. Usually we're a lot more engaging, but we wanted to take our time with this and really just react and enjoy that opening, that opening, that ending to Act 1. That was amazing. This game took a turn I was not expecting. Were you expecting it, Teal? No, I was not. No. I mean, really the game had built up that Jasper was going to be the villain, either working for Mortigan or was Mortigan, and uh, you know, that the uh, God, what is it? That the king was just a, a patsy. Yeah. And now that's not the case. Either the king himself is actually Mortigan or he was just possessed. Either way, it's still pretty god tier. I'm Very sorry, fishy. I forgot where the save point was. I think it's down below, isn't it? Uh, Miyaka, I can only imagine how hard it's been. I mean, because I've been speculating. I speculate really hard. Um, it's what I do as a writer, but yeah. Oh, totally. The scale of the maps. <laughs> wow. What are you looking for, honey? I was looking for the save point. It's down there. You'll get it after the cutscene. You say our guest has finally recovered from <laughs> his wounds. Good. Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Hello, hot fish mama. She is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Majesty. Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. Oh, that's right. The uh, they talk in rhyme. Yeah. Oh, she's total waifu, Miyaka. Especially if you like sushi. Yeah. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> Or should I say, new fish? You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Miyaka mermaid couplet. Shock to see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. Oh shit. As oh wow. Said, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. So he's been in a coma for months. Yeah. That's no bueno. How glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. Ah. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well. You'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Oh, please tell us we're going to get fished on board Silvando's ship. That would be really cool. That, that would be. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. Oh shit, it's a door to Kingdom Hearts. Ah! I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. I'm more of a Chris Landia kind of guy, but uh... Alright, let's go save. Okay. We can talk to uh, Minister Finfin fin over there. We'll talk but, to Minister Fin Fan. And yeah, because it's down at the bottom. Oh. 
Okay, so I need to get out of here. Yep, just float down. I can't. You can't go down the hole? No, it won't let me. All right, then go up through the window. Or that. There you go. Finny fun. Yeah. Aww. Time to save. Yep. Absolutely, Miyako. Right. So, we'll just kind of leave it here, but do you have any final thoughts before we call it for the evening? Oh, that was more than I thought was, was, was possible. I have to it agree. Really, it really took me by surprise about how epic that, that whole scene was. Totally. All of it. Very satisfying. It, it is. I would say so. Um... The map design was great. Uh, the the uh, the pacing was fantastic, but the twists. I think just the way that it really made you think one thing, and then it kind of just slaps you with another. But it does in a way that you're like, oh shit, now it makes sense. Yeah, you start looking back on all the little tells, and you're going, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And I mean that look of terror on Veronica's face. So that was so we know well done. More. What's up? That was well done. Yeah, it, we know we're basically going to be in a world of ruin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, the yeah. world of ruin. And that's just as great. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, to everyone who was in chat who's kept this a secret the whole time, thank you. This means a lot to us. Um, damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Absolutely lacing. So, all right. Uh, everyone down the line, Griffin, Wrath of Wood, Miyaka, lacing, Bubba Hotep, Bubba Hotep. Everyone else who said hello, everyone else who's lurking, everyone else who has given us love, support, donos, uh, hug subscriptions. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and call it for the evening. This is the end of our stream. Please come in tomorrow where we play Final Fantasy VII Remake with me as the player and Teal and Director's Chair. Uh, are you excited about getting back to your regular schedule, honey? Yes, I am. I am raring to go. And of course, Friday will be our Ask Us Anything AMA where we're going to have a good time, so... You know, we hope you guys will stick around and be a regular part of the Studio Blue audience. We absolutely love you guys. If you like what you saw, leave the smack down the like button below, subscribe to our channel, consider supporting us on Patreon, and connect us over Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and we'll see you in the next video. See you next time.